Still got that fire burning in my noggin. <laughs> 101 Preston Johns. We still popping off, man. Hey, Halawa. All praise the most high. Ancient. Love song. Head of days. Popping all the noggin songs. Popping all of Nagaville law to Wada Hawa for this redeeming, this releasing from captivity forever. You're going through a hard time, get through it, man. It's your time to be rooted, to be foundational. You don't got to lean on nobody. You got it all in yourself right now. Believe in yourself because you're going to be stronger getting through it and you're going to make the noggins around you stronger. Stand up, man. Stand strong. Stand firm. Don't give up, man. You got everything inside of you. You don't got to lean on nobody, my nigga. But hua. Allah hua. Nobody knew we'd be here, man, popping off. Nobody knew we'd be here, man. You know, all of us are miracles to be here, to be popping off, you know, to enjoy the flow. And the flow is going to continue, man. You know what I'm saying? But the way it continues is up to us. I truly believe that we are in the driver's seat. It's action, reaction. You keep the code, you get a certain reaction to that. You don't keep the code. Well, you see what happens, man. It ain't no mystery, right? The wada wa for the rising up of your seed, of your children, that we could be here to witness, to all be witnesses of the power within us that is you, our framer, our shaper, that is perfect. And this experience that we're having is perfect. You got a lot, you don't got a lot, it's perfect. You protect it while showing you and building up your faith to know that you got protection. You can be creative, you can plan, you can build, you can trust each other. You can trust your code keepers. Feels good to be in code again. So let's talk about some, <laughs> some prestas, some medias, some comments, but let's start with your comments, my naga. Lawa. <laughs> keep the fire burning. Let's keep the water flowing. <laughs> I'm gonna fall back and really I'm gonna get like the last you know, we're going to fall back with the, the last 20-something. <laughs> last 20, Preston Johns. We're going to enjoy the comments, man, that y'all been leaving. And I'll do my best to, you know, point you in the right direction. Uh, but y'all do such a great job. A lot of times I just let y'all pop off in the comment sections and y'all answer each other. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all build. You know what I mean? It's, it's not for me. It's for y'all to build, man. And I appreciate y'all for doing that because... When I read your comments, it helps me build. And we all been building, you know, together. Same way, man. So a loud while for you. We all want to start, man. We're gonna start right here and uh press to 83, work our way up, you know what I mean? And so we don't take too long. <laughs> Enjoy the wave, man. Y'all been leaving great comments, man. What can I say? Oh, before we even do this one. I just want to go to the general comments that's coming in. And we're going to talk some comments. <laughs> some 18, 12 joints. You know, go back into that 18, 11 comment. Talk some of that 17, 69 comment as well. You know, talk some of these meteors, man, you know. Talk about this great American eclipse. Something that we got to keep mindful of in 2024. Feeny is crisscrossing on your head, Bo. 
and they got it going right <laughs> through Mexico, right through Tol Texas. Remember the 2017 joint crisscrossed the other way, right? Same spot. We got to look into it. We got to do some investigating. Drop Nation. I mean, we are popping off. You know, uh, as I get into these comments, man, <laughs> and I get into your comments, man, I first want to uh, give gratitude, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, to my tribe, tribe. You know what I'm saying? Um, for real, y'all been giving me, you know, so much inspiration, you know, personally speaking, man, and myself, Chef Candy, man, the droplets, you know, on, on behalf of, of us, you know, I just want to, you know, say thank you to Wada, you know, to all the tribe out there that's, you know, been real positive throughout everything that's going on, man, to continue to give Ahab to each other, you know, not just us, but one another, man, and show, show the Nagas in Nagaville how, how keeping the cold works, man, you know what I mean, and it don't mean that, you know, you know, we can hit every single checkpoint we always want to hit, <laughs> but it means that we're consistent cons, and to get to press the one-on-one, it takes consistency, my Naga, so, you know, it's inspiring, man, it's, it's it's inspiration to continue to be consistent. You know what I'm saying? To build this fence that we're building, it takes consistency, man. And yeah, Brandon Savala, the, David A, no, you know what I mean? All my Nagas, Denarius, Maurice Rudley, David Abreu, Sonia Baker, Brandon Savala, Mikael, man, hey, Mikael, what it do, man? Contessa Taylor, Top Battle, Tracy Slow Cool. Zion Dre, <laughs> Anthony Largy, man, Zion Marley, what it do, man, Brandon Savala, man, a lot of repeat contributors, a lot of anonymous repeat contributors, hey, out to you, Anthony Largy, Zion, what it do, Miss D, what it do, Diara, Di Diara Campbell, <laughs> uh, all the anonymous family, man, you see it, man, you see it, man, it it's taking consistency, to get as far as we've gotten, man, and do something that people say, man, that's y'all gonna be expert fence builders by the time y'all get through with this, man. So you see what it's it's taken from Jump Street, man. You know what I'm saying? For months ago, we've been doing this raising for Joy World for over 10 months, man. I mean, at least so just popping off, man. So the water to you for your steady contributions and your consistency not just with your comments, but in real time, you know what I'm saying? Here a little, there a little has got us to over $14,385 raised, plus all my Nagas that have been donating on the Cash App and PayPal and all that. So we've been raising it up and we continuing Nagas on the move in the next couple of weeks to continue to get down a whole nother side and, you know, just continue building the largest cedar wood fence in Utah, the most level fence. <laughs> and you're going to see how we finish it off, man. So the water to you for allowing us to have a boundary, a barrier, you know what I'm saying, uh, to keep Hijack City at bay, man. You know, it feels good, man. So the water, Hawa. We keeping the fire burning. We keeping the water flowing. Shalom, let's get it. JB said, who tune y'all music, man? Proper things. Hey, shout out JB. Uh, you know, we tuning, man. You know what I mean? Um, most of what you hear on the on the live stream is personally, you know, tuned. Uh, shout out to Isaac Ford, who tuned up so much of our music as well, man. And, you know, so we don't have a big staff <laughs> of music tuners, but to all my knockers that's been supporting the Drop Tuner Package, the water to you. We've been doing five, uh, five dollar a month, uh, fifty songs that we've been, you know, tuning up to fifty songs with Nagas Dropboxes, music that they want tuning for three two. We also got videos teaching you how to do it yourself with the program called Audacity or Return to Four Three Two dot com. You know, these are things that um, you know you can do for bulk. If you want to add, 
like a whole library full of drop. You want to tune in four, three, two. That's good for that. So we uh, dropped some drop on how to tune your music in bulk with audacity for free and different things, man. So JB, that's a great question. And I appreciate you before I get ahead of myself uh, where I was going with this. So I also want to give appreciation to my, to my aqua, man, my malaka, man, my, my queen, chef Connie, man, she, presented me with an award, man. It's engraved and everything. It's like a crystal quartz engravement. And it says 432 Drop Nation salutes Khan Drop. Press the John 100. I said, if you love me, call me Hano. A 101, call me Hano 10. It says Press the John 100, Halal Hawa, KTC, MHOE, June 25th, 2022. So, you know, I just want to Say the water to Chef Connie for this beautiful award. I know that, you know, I give my award to Drive Nation. So, you know, we all accept this award <laughs> on behalf of Chef Connie, man. And uh, we appreciate you for that. Aqua and all the tribe, man. This, to hold an award that says Presser John won Hano, call me Hano Wano. <laughs> hey, you know, we all share this victory, man. Victory after victory, because we already won. Shout out to natural by law. Man. We're gonna get some more great comments. Let's pop off, man. Ian Foster, what it do? He says, uh, have we considered the map being inverted South Pole towards the center and North Pole, uh, the outer edge? Like how the Bible talks about the sides of the North only works if North Pole faces out. I mean, you gotta break that down all the way down, you know what I'm saying? And anything could be, you know, flipped and inverted. So that's something to consider that the South Pole is the middle and the North is going out. So that's, you know, could be some interesting orientation. AI, Ian Foster, Dev Fitnatic. He says, so a meteor destroyed the dinosaurs who destroyed the dragons, violent, ferocious people. Things that make you go, hmm, yeah, straight up, man, nubs. Revenge, shout out to Nubs. He says, so I do not uh, pretend to know what you know how to do. Obviously, you're quite handy with that being said. I do construction and landscaping, specifically fences. If there's anything you would ever like to know that I have knowledge of, I will be happy to give that knowledge freely, uh, freely. You are a great service to this world, not just the Nagas as you are bringing out truth and I appreciate that. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Hey, the water for you, you know, I appreciate it. Anybody that wants to help, you know what I mean? Anything that you got on your mind, ways to help, you see what we're doing, you know, anything on your heart bone to help, just you can email us, music at 432thedrop.com, music at 432thedrop.com or 432thedrop at gmail.com so you know and uh i know i take quite a while sometimes to get back you know i'm you gotta you get you know i, I came from a big uh you know fence building uh trip <laughs> with joy world and then we started popping off the prestes and i'm just getting like to the emails like that so i apologize you know i don't have a whole team checking emails for me you know myself chef candy we we're handling all this ourselves so i know you know, that uh, <laughs> it, it requires some patience sometimes and I'm gonna get better at getting back to y'all even faster. You know, I'm, I'm one day I'm gonna have a whole crew checking emails and, and doing all this, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna make for even, you know, better service for my noggers that, you know, need, you know, quick, quick, quick replies and stuff like that. <laughs> but to my noggers that know me, you know, I appreciate your patience. And when I do get back, I really get back in. You know, because, you know, we're a small operation. The good thing is that we're very hands-on, so we make sure my Nagas get everything they need, even if it takes a little while longer, but we make sure my Nagas is compensating, and you know what I'm saying? You know, we, we do our best to make sure everybody is not just happy, but, you know, real happy, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the water to all the repeat contributors that, that get it, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, are truly patient with us, and, you know, Nagas like this, nubs, man, that offer your assistance we appreciate you for that so hit us with the email man 
And uh, hopefully we can build, man, you know what I'm saying? Along with just accepting help, you know, we always realize, of course, that this is the internet, you know, unfortunately we're not in some type of pleasant view that we can just, you know, automatically have some trust in relation with everyone who leaves a comment on the internet, you know what I'm saying? But I know this is our only best way to communicate. So we do our best to discern the frequency, you know, to know who to build with and how to build, you know what I'm saying? So it does take a while sometimes to, to build up that, that flow, you know what I'm saying? The hijack is real. We got to make sure we pure water. We got families to protect. We got children to protect. And we take that very serious, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, excuse us again, if we, take a while to get back sometimes and you know just take a while to build you know it just is what it is you know what i mean i don't have no um uh, special equipment you know technology on <laughs> how to build relationships super fast but we do take our time when we build it right and that's the good thing that when you know you dealing with drive nation we really have taken our time <laughs> and got our you know got our flow going you know what i mean so a lot of while you know what i mean we're gonna continue to do that and I know that, you know, times are, you know, getting real shaky out here. We want to make sure that we can include as much family as possible in what we're doing. So it's going to take a lot of trust, man. You know what I'm saying? And all praise the while, we can all, you know, learn to do that, you know, uh, through the code. You know I mean? The code allows us to have a parameter, you know, a trust parameter, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just have a frequency to fill out and, you know, we're going to continue to get better at that. You know, everything I'm saying with this checkpoint is so that we can get better. You know, I want to be, you know, the best I can at communicating to you, you know, any of the flow, the frequency that we're building on. You know, I want to be the best communicator I can possible, the best, you know, uh, you know, the best brother possible, you know, the best ox. You know, I know my ox want to be the best ox. My aquas want to be the best aqua. And sometimes it starts right there in your family, you know, just being the best father, you know, the best husband, you know, that type of thing. So um, whenever you see me fall back, it's really because I want to solidify my my foundation, you know, with my droplets, with my wife, my with my immediate flow, you know what I'm saying? And that I can come back and, you know, um, have a stronger foundation to, you know what I mean, just approach you know, all the uh, journeys that we got to approach, you know what I'm saying? Walk straight, walk, walk strong, walk confident, but you got to have the foundation, you know, um, secure, you know what I mean? So, you know, popping off from Joy World, getting ready for another flow, building in Joy World, you know, a lot's going on. And then you pop in the press is off. You got real life happening. You got a, you got a family to feed, you know, all these things are happening. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so it takes a lot of... <laughs> A lot of uh, commitment, a lot of consistency, and that's why I share it with y'all, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all like y'all appreciate me, you know what I mean? And I know it and I feel it and we feel it and we will get better at all these things, you know what I'm saying, as we continue to build. Shout out to L-O-O-9-3s as well. This truly is the drop. Hey, thank you, brother. All praise to the most high. Man, shout out, man. Elahua, Eddie Holden. All praise the Most High Baruch. Blessings to you. And my sister Tiffany Bryant said, New sub. Thank you. Thanks, Caramel. Ahau brought me a Kuri Mayo. Been bringing good, good nuggets for a long time, man. We appreciate Kuri Mayo, man. And I can't say enough about my bro, Kuri Mayo. You know what I'm saying? Um, just building from these foundational pieces and seeing what the bro continues to build with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just in the back of the class and I appreciate, you know what I'm saying? Just all of the, the levels, you know, all the, uh, <laughs> all the platforms the bro's been able to spread the drop, spread the water to. Um, it's just real dope to see that what we are built on foundationally. <sighs> It's the real thing, you know what I'm saying? And it stands against any, anything, any chaotic flow, you know, any hijacked frequency. Everything gets melted when it comes to the truth, man, and when it comes to this water. So, hey, shout out Kuti Mayo, man. Y'all go hit up Kuti Mayo, because just like, you know, Nagas is coming over from 
Cootie's Cootie's classroom. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? I know we got Nagas always, you know what I'm saying, going, you know, from, you know, our classroom to, to that classroom. And there's no separation, you know what I'm saying? So the water, it's good to have a real one, you know, in this battlefield, you know what I mean? Appreciate you, Cootie Mayo. Liana Abak, what it do? She says, wow, or wow, one of those. <laughs> It is a four three two frequency party. Ah, right, she's popping up. <laughs> Shout out to Il Belt Amitites. I don't know, man. You know, <laughs> I am it. It is something like that, man. The smaller white dragon look like the dragoon painted in the St. Louis Mound City cave. Okay, he's he's popping off in that Kong Kong food. Shout out to Ma, man. I mean, y'all been surfing the wave for five eyes, Ma, man. We're going to read some of these comments for the dismount, how you enjoying the music. And the bro say he want to start dropping at least one song a week right here, 432. And this is, you know, a true drop artist, a naga that really, you know, um, you know, came up in this foundation, man, and just crystallized his art as he was, you know, crystallizing his, 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 is foundation for Hawa, you know what I mean? And when an artist grows with Hawa, with the flow, you see it, man, pop out. And whether we're talking Five Eyes Ma or Ma Jigga, Ma, Ma Shiga, <laughs> hey, shout out to the she, man. We appreciate you, Ma. You always Ma, you know what I mean? And we're going to get some of these comments, but look out for a lot more music from Five Eyes Ma or Ma Jigga, man. <laughs> Ma Shiga. And um, you can get that my pack one right now in the drop shop at 432thedrop.com. Look out for the MHOE.store, working on it, some stuff in construction just to get it right for you. Then you're going to pop off and see all the designs, all the newest and latest MHOE coming right out of MHOE.store. Look out for us, man, as well as in the drop shop. Hey, it's all happening. Dang, damn. Dams flooded Algiers, Atlantis, and froze Australia. Oh, yeah. My sister Leona popping off. We got to, you know, keep talking about these damn dams, man. Real time. Karma, what it do? I'll praise the most high. You already know, man. Kudumeo said, you right, Brother Strong's 2398. Hit us with this Chada link, man. And he's popping off in Press the 88. Moore's Indian Charity School Council of Three Fires. And I mean, this is interesting, right? I mean, he he, he hit us with the strongest coordinates, 2398. Chata, just like we we're talking about with the uh, Chata or Choctaw, or, you know, we we're just talking about these confederacies. And it says Chata to miss, go wrong, sense. So something happened. <laughs> something happened with these kata, you know what I'm saying? Even with the kara kata, you know, kara kata, kara kata, you know what I'm saying? The Wong Kong flow with Cathay. All this is Cathay. Something went wrong with Cathay. Something went wrong with the kara kata. Something went wrong with the Davidic lines, with the seeds of Dawi, with the Hebrews, all something went wrong, right? <laughs> And of course, we got the idolatry at the center of the charge. But this kata flow, <laughs> hey, very interesting, man. Love to Kuri Meo. Hey, it's all happening, man. So let's get specific into the drops. We're going to fall back. Let's start right here. Press the 83. And kick back, man. It's in Georgia. It's a nice victory party, man. And a lot of Hawaii is all we can say, man. Wow. Let's get it. Love to yes to love and peace. Can't wait to reunite with those I'm supposed to be with. 
like minded, like mindedness or like mindedness. Striving for the same cause is everything. Got you. Striving for the same cause is everything. Bang. I mean, you know, we when we unite around the code, that's the that's the strongest cause you could ever unite around, man. When black power is more of a strong cause than the code of the creator. That kind of thinking will leave your ass uh, thoughtless, man. You can't be more into your tribe than you are the creator. That's why even when we was breaking down these out of code black Indian tribes that don't care about the Shabbat or don't care about, you know, not putting no power before the most high power. Or maybe they don't care about, you know, uh, being a false witness. Maybe they're not consciously, you know, um, getting that covetous out their heart, Paul. Vanity. Honoring and framing a shaper. Mother, father. Adultery. You know, maybe, uh, You know, maybe they got their idols, you know, still to this day, maybe they got rituals going on, you know, that clearly has nothing to do with why. Maybe they're praying to their spirits and their ancestors and, you know, putting all this praise, you know what I'm saying, the wrong direction. Praying to false powers, which are no powers. That's why we got the code. The code is not religion. <laughs> the code is because you care more about your creator than your own tribe, man. You can't care more about your tribe than the one that created your tribe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you backwards, man. You backwards, man. So we're putting it all in order. And in that, you get your tribe. You get your land. You get your baru. But when you put the creator last and act like you just... I'm just an Indian. I'm just a part of this tribe. Tribe, tribe, tribe. Cold, cold, cold. With cold comes tribe. With cold comes your land. And with trope, with with cold <laughs> comes protection, man. You know what I'm saying? So everything comes in cold. Let's go. I see a lot of similarities between Haile Selassie, the Ethiopian king, and Preston John. Okay. Minus the dragons, of course. <laughs> Thank you for this. Wow. Well, yeah. You know, they had to kind of almost mimic the flow of Presta John in the Americas. You know what I'm saying? You did. See this Ethiopian Abyssinian Khan? It predates their highly, highly Celeste, you know what I'm saying? And all respect to who they venerate, but that's the issue. You know, if you're looking at this highly Celeste as God or as a God, or, you know, if you just see it as a prophet, you know, I don't know, but this is India superior, you know what I'm saying? So this is where it starts. You know, we, we can't be biting off your story, not when this is India Superior, not when the press is right here on the British Museum map in 1530. So, love to the entire Earth plane, but this is Ethiopia. This is Abyssinia right here. And these are the children of Solomon. These are the children of David right here. Although they carry that story over there, David, Solomon, Selassie, all this line of Judah talk. But this is Judah over here, you see. You know what I mean? You 
replications, phantoms, duplications. You know, you have <laughs> you have California today, LA today, known, you know what I'm saying, for a lot of uh origins and um, you know, gang activity, different things, but you have a lot of gangs in other areas that originated in California, right? So that's like them, you know, not ever paying homage to the origin and saying, yeah, nah, but, you know, we over here in this city, so we the origin of this set, of this hood, of this whatever. Nah, if you from such and such and you know that such and such started in L.A. or started in the jungles or started over here, you know what I'm saying, then, you know, you're going to have to, you know, pay homage for that that origin, you know what I'm saying? If, if hip if hip hop started in the Bronx or Brooklyn or whatever they say it started in, you know, then a real hip hop head, you know, or someone giving, you know, proper respect, got to pay homage and say, yeah, you know, I'm doing gangster rap in Cali, but hip hop started in the Bronx. We started in, you know, whatever they say. And so, um, you know, you got to, it's, it's okay to give homage, man, to, to give respect, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's okay to say what Presta is, you know, you don't have to stay with the same story that's not going to check out once you start doing the recon. The Ethiopian is a vague title, Eptiopes, for burnt face people, wherever they are. It didn't become a specific place, according to Ronald Sanders in the Lost Tribes and Promised Land. It didn't become a specific area you know, until like what, 19th century or something like that. So before that, 17th century, 16th century, when this map is made, all oh, this is Ethiopia, India Superior, Cathay, Prester John right here in the middle, right here where the folk corners would be, right? Where the Mormons went to, right? Yeah, man, we're talking Ethiopia, man. <laughs> so, you know, who they call, you know, Haile Selassie, you know what I'm saying? He's he's a, a continuance, you know, of, or he represents a continuance of his bloodline of the lions, lions of Judah and these priesthood and these prestors. He would be a modern prester over there, you know what I'm saying? But Ethiopia been had they, they prestors and, you know, they're, their, their chiefs and their cons as well, you know what I mean? So, but where's Ethiopia? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a generic term. But here we're just talking about India superior, so it's letting you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, where the superior Ethiopia or the superior India originated. We're talking Atlantis, my nigga, right? We're talking Lemuria, Khan. And it's really interesting when I look at these type of projections, because when you think about the Pacific Ocean, I mean, <laughs> where would you place the Pacific Ocean on this type of map projection, right? Is, is that why they don't really fly over the Pacific Ocean like that? Because they don't want you to know how close you are to more Asia or Ania? Interesting, right? All right. Shout out to uh, Thrice, Thrice, Thirst Great. <laughs> hey. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities between Haile Selassie and Preston John, for sure, for sure. But if it's minus the dragons, then you can't be talking a real thing, you know. <laughs> he gonna need some dragons. Renarda Smith, this was great information because those years I've been trying to figure out for years and from what I see makes sense. Grand blessings, brother. Hey, hop to you, Renata Smith. James Snyder, it's wild 83, big up. You said it might be 100. Hey, my nigga, I'm in my DeLorean. I went forward in time, and I'm telling you, it's 101. Call me Hano, Hano one. <laughs> Great job, my friend. Keep doing what you're doing. May the most high continue to by the root, you and your family. Hey, hop, James. Shout out to Da Vada. 
and righteously so, brother. I have a theory because the same animals found in Africa were on the American maps. So what if many of the lions with the mane, elephants, and so forth wanted or went into extinction and pulled into the zoos labeled as African animals? Right, right, right. Yeah, I think they did that. I think they labeled a lot of these animals, <laughs> African animals. And Kuri Mayo, I, I believe he, he got way more on that. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Kuri Mayo and reservation parks that you have in the South. Yeah, for sure. Someone said, uh, shout out to Ammo. Well, it is well known that the Americas had mammoths and say, saber tooth felines. MFF. M-F-F-K-I says Baruch to you and your family and our tribes. Alawa. Zodan says they say the 1800s was the long century. How long? John Levy has many picks with one missing off the 18, making it 800s. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so back to that one being an I, you know, a lowercase I, or then they change it to it's supposed to represent Isus, the, you know, Isus, a year of Isus from one to 800, but it's just 800. So is that one on one, or is it an I, you know, representing their Isus? You know what I'm saying? I mean, shout out to John Leff. <laughs> he goes, uh, way more in detail of course so shout out to zodan big fred edison with a dude says bread the hijacks i've been i've had to dodge just to complete this drop and that's why i get my nagas max a because i know how much hijack you gotta dodge to watch the drop imagine the hijack i gotta go through to put this drop you know what i'm saying and record this drop and get it you know, processed and all the times I've had to re-record this stuff. So, hey, we did it. That's why I hold this award from Chef Candy, man. We did it, man. <laughs> said, whoa, but the mission was completed for Nagavir, M-H-O-E, allow, wow. Caleb Dose, what it do, says, love your work always, brother. Yo, but it's interesting how you brought up that there were dark-skinned people in the coldest regions of regions i know your work is totally different than bro sanchez but ironically ironically he came to this conclusion as well as a matter of fact he goes with the whole idea that's where civilization actually started at very interesting indeed i mean you know i can't confirm or deny if we started outside the earth palm one <laughs> or inside the earth palm one um, you know, but we here, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know, shout out to bro Sanchez. And that's a great comment. Caleb Dose, uh, great content, great work the bro puts in, you know what I'm saying? Continue to build and, you know, yeah, I think Nagas are everywhere. You know what I mean? Everywhere. The coldest regions lead to more warm regions that they're going to keep calling new worlds. So. I can see it. I can see it clearly. Levi Ball the third, what it do? Much of hive to the tribe. Khan, always appreciate your work. M-H-O-E, K-T-C, man. We surfing the way. Hunter for Khan. About to say Chan, but I know you Khan. Hunter for Khan. Said health, wealth, and prosperity to all viewers. My bro, please take time to spare two hours and watch this show from Showtime called The Man That Fell to Earth. Okay. I don't even want to comment my thoughts based on the first 30 minutes of this video. <laughs> Love your content as usual. Tell Luz what it do. He says, yes, he arrives like a prester or prester from the sky and talks to the etheric hurricanes. Man, who is Preston John? What's your thoughts on the movie? He said, to be honest, it's a peek into what's not being said. The planets are other lands outside of our realm. Body bag. Hey, shout out to Hunter for Khan. Yeah. 
All right, all right. You know, hey. shout out uh Dava Da. She breaking down uh, cycles, man. <laughs> I love it, man. Let's go. Naga, amazing drop, my Naga. All oh, praise a while. Let's get it. Meb, M E B seven seven seven. So that's why the drawing of the creator of the Cherokee writing. So that's why the drawing of the creator of the Cherokee writing, his paintings is presented with a turban and Moroccan attire like that of the Moroccan. They got know what you're talking about, but hey, I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I remember what you're talking about, but we covered so much, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, within this time frame, you know, uh, yeah. If you get this, just, you know, give us a link so we can have that picture up and see what you're talking about. The drawing of the creator of the Cherokee Rye. Whoever created the Cherokee Rye. You know, that's, I love it though, man. I, I, I know it's all in good love. Good AI. Love to Derek Barry, Amos 3. 3. Once that happens, you become exceptional to accomplish more. Hey, we're talking about the families. Only you have I known of all the family. Shout out to Derek Bear, American Aboriginal, so powerful. Thank you, hey, the Wada Aqua. <laughs> new race, new those who have ears and eyes again. New race, new land. Let's go, Stephen Torres, man. OG, what it do? OG Wave Surfer, what it do? He said we did it again. Con con, somebody call in the corner, tell them to come. Get all these damn body back. <laughs> MHO, shout out, bro, Steven, man. All your support, your contributions, man. We appreciate you, bro. Lynn Catlin, brother, still watching you from a long time ago. The universe is the most high. Wow. All right. <laughs> he established it. You brought me to look up a word before I make any statements about it. Okay. What does universe literally mean? 1580s, the whole world, cosmos, totality of existing things. From Latin, universal, all things. Everybody, all people, the whole world. Now, used of neuter, of adjective, universes, all things, all together. All right, all in one, whole, entire. We got the whole thing. One, we just talking one. Uni, got it, bang. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, so they want to, you know, <laughs> form a universal church. They want to turn that into one, right? <laughs> but we know when we talk universe, we got one power, you know, that all that goes back to the one. Oh, wow. Andrew A. So Preston John was near Utah, a.k.a. the land of Judah. Body bag. Let's go. Let go. Crystal Anderson. Good and great morning to you and yours. Like the water, aqua. That's love, man. We appreciate you. Charles Johnson, peace, educate. Please educate all children every day. Peace, indigenous. Amaro Kansa, turn around. <laughs> My Naga, uh, you know, drops this comment, man, frequently to a Naga, man, just to let us know it's peace to the indigenous Americans of Turtle Island. Hey, shout out Charles Johnson. Creole Kid 77. Baruch, let's go, man. The Preston Vibration Uni, what it do? Lawrence Richardson, all the way up, man. Squillionaire Guap, yes, sir. Triba, wise up, what it do, man? Hey, Preston John Prophet, why already? Davada, Jaren Jones, what's the backup channel's name, man? Condra, man, you know, Condra, yeah. We're gonna start doing a lot of my personal flows, man, my, my personal blog, man, just take you through the day of con drop right there at the back, at the back of the channel, man, all just personal vlogs, man, we're just going to pop off, man, <laughs> shout out Jaron Jones, Americans, what it do, straight men, so, hey, yourself got that men, so, holla at yourself the real, man, <laughs> Jack Smith, what it do, man, we popping off, man, Tony Walker, catching up, popping off, Dragon Slayer, big brother, North America makes sense, family. It's Canada. Dragon Slayer got the drop, man. The Lino Brown. What's the backup channel? It's Con Drop, man. We popping up. I'll leave the link uh, below. Make sure everybody got it. And 
Go ahead and hit it up just in case they get funny. You know, just hit it up, man. More fortune. Said Hawaii, Hawaii, Iowa. Bang. You got it, man. Karma. All praise the most high. Karma came in. Shout out to Ali Reed, USS Bunker Hill Dragon. It's the first ship in the Ticonderago. Ticonder. Olga. Con, uh, all right, man. Class equipped with vertical launching systems. The cruiser is named after the Battle of Bunker Hill, which took place. June 17, 1775. Okay, you left a link. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. U.S. Bunker Hill. U.S.S. Bunker Hill. First ship in the Ticonderoga class. Equipped with the vertical launching system. Cruiser is named after the Battle of Bunker Hill. Gotcha. Cost about a billion dollars, huh? All right. Now on their shield is the sea dragon. <laughs> awesome beast that is both vigilant and fierce. Grasping a flaming sword, the sea dragon symbolizes the naval prowess and attack capability of today's USS Bunker Hill. So they got the attack capability of the sea dragon, which is the most awesome beast. Oh, really? I mean, I thought it was a serpent. I thought it was a devil. I thought the dragon was a devil. Oh no, now, now boss, it's vigilant. Now it's fierce. Like the fierce or violent dragon that is a person. Cause a dragon, we're gonna talk media. <laughs> but a dragon is a person. Fierce or violent. <laughs> Person. Male or female. Man or woman. Right? Fierce or violent person. They piss you off, you become a drag. Bang. Vigilant and fierce. Grasping a flaming sword. So you got fire. <laughs> Yeah, man, this is cool. We got to dig on this USS Bunker Hill more, man. I mean, I think the bro's trying to tell us something. I think the bro, Ali Reed, trying to tell us something, man. Shout out to Ali Reed. Yoveline Khan, I can't wait. I can't wait until I, until I no longer have to sojourn with strangers on my land, Khalifa. Hey. Ain't that. Now we're talking Paradise Aqua. MHO. Most high over everything. You know, uh, it's cool when we do our comments like this because we get real focused comments. You know, we are just going into the press. This, this is Press 85. Shout out to John Paul. Hey, drop. Check out the YouTube channel, Harry Hubbard. Okay, he's got Hundreds of thousands of artifacts of every tongue language found in the tomb in Southern Illinois. He talks of Egyptian Wabash River, up and down the Mississippi, Missouri, Red River. I just found his channel tonight. You may already be aware of him. Maybe some pieces in the puzzle in his videos and galleries that cover, I believe over 20 years of his findings all in Southern Illinois, right? So that's right there in the spot that they walking around, doing their laps, doing their uh, migrations, you know. Up and down the main river waterways, waterways in the same area as the new map you've been surfing on. I'm gonna start looking for any gems in his videos and separate and hijack over the next few days myself. Your message resonates and I've, listening took notes through dozens of your videos even the animation videos of saint steve he's talking about estebanico we'll be back on the cities of gold i may not be from your tribe but i'm a i'm a real one and 
always KTC for the most high myself. You're a great leader, man, and I appreciate you. Most deaf respect and looking out. And like you said, man, most high for everything, you know. Um, you know, we all have to step up, you know what I'm saying, in all these ways and, you know, our tribe and our families, you know what I'm saying? So we're doing it together. You know, you are a great leader yourself, bro. I can tell already. And, you know, I appreciate your leadership. And we all got to be that, you know what I'm saying? And we got to rise up, my naga. You know, we got to be leaders and we got to rise up. So we got to lead the way as a tribe. But I will be digging on Harry Hubbard, man. And that's pretty dope because I want to get into this Wabash River and, you know, keep talking about these damn dams. Shout out to Buddha Nagas, man. He said, peace and prosperity family. I'm from, I'm in Fort Wayne. Kikionga or Kiskanka. <laughs> right now, it is a fact that the old world in this region was low elevation. Kind of like the mud flood thing, you know what I mean? Like, it keeps getting built over. Like, it was lower elevation, right? So, from the Great Lakes to the underground caves in southern Indiana. So that's why I like reading these comments, man, because one Nog is talking about Illinois, you know what I'm saying, southern Illinois. Another Nog is talking about southern Indiana. Once they was conquered west or rest of the Americas came with it. So once this was conquered, everything went. I mean, we're talking about <laughs> the Kumsay War, Dragon Canoe, Shikamaga, Karankawa, Texas Indian Wars, all that, right? So, same Nagas. Yovelim saying the dots, lay lines marked in the triangle are 2, 6, 12. So, we're still looking at that map, that triangle flow. For the 12 tribes of Israel, I have an amethyst crystal shape like this. It's called a record keeper magic crystal. Lay lines marked in the triangle 2612. Dig on it. This is going to be good. It makes this freight run a lot smoother, right on time. Vibrations on point. Yes to love and peace. Shalom. I just rewatched UB News. Shout out to the bro UB News, man. I mean, documentaries, you know, unmatched, beautiful flow, man. And everything the bro, man, has been investigating, doing great work. Shout out to my nine. Uh, mentioned Acadia being a colony of New France in northeastern North America. That includes parts of eastern Quebec the maritime provinces in modern day Maine to the Kennebec River. And of course we know Maine and the Kennebec is on the Atlantic coast. So it could have really gone from Canada all the way down through New England. It had much more to do with the French culture, but still consists of the same Atlantic region. The name of the video is Tower of Babel found in America. Great work by the bro UB News. Go get the drop. Shout out to Leona Abbott, C4 of the Most High, TMH. Danville could be the name after the tribe of Dan. Con Con, <laughs> Danville. They liked naming lands after themselves. The water for the less in Genesis 49, 17. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path that bites the horse's heels so that his rider shall fall back. Whoa. We connected them some things. Y'all y'all to get the drop so you know what we're talking about. This is for the wave surfers only. You know, those that been surfing the wave, been, you know, putting them hours in, you know, meditating on it, you know, putting the headphones in while you, while you fall back and rest, you know, getting that subconscious drop <laughs> and waking up just like whoa i'm popping off man so yeah we talked danville you know connected with all this mooresville and indiana flow indianapolis flow and there's also a danville connected with that phineas and ferb show too right so that's a big mystery about 
why they call the city Danville and where it actually is. Alexis LaRue, Con Con. Okay, now Louisiana has a region called Acadiana. Acadiana, okay. So say named after, some say named after the Acadians that settled after their exile from Nova Scotia, but dig on the tribes that were here, the Atacapas, Chittimaca, to name a few. I remember you showing an old map and it showed a fire dragon in the Louisiana area. Interesting. Also, I'm a Google Earth junkie and I have many weird places marked throughout this region. And my spirit keeps telling me these spots look like paleo Hebrew writing from space. Funny because each of these areas has some kind of monitoring device placed in the middle of the clearings. Funny because they are literally in the middle of nowhere, but that monitor is always close behind. What's up with that? <laughs> hmm. I live here and there's some things about this area for sure, for sure, energetic wise. I'll drop some links. Hopefully YouTube doesn't delete. Thank you. So she got some academia, you know, links. I'm gonna pull them up. You know, maybe I'll, you know, drop some drop on these, man. Yeah, we're going to talk academia, so, academia, 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 Acadiana, okay. Acadiana, also known as Cajun country. Official name given to the French Louisiana region that has historically contained much of the state's uh, Francophone, Francophony population. Francophony, all right. <laughs> Many inhabitants of the Cajun country have Acadian ancestry and identify as Cajuns. So the Acadians are the Cajuns or Louisiana Creole. All right. Then we got some Atacapa drop. Atacapa, also called the Sunset People, reside in Southeast Texas. Shout out to Tote, Texas, man. Indigenous people of the southeastern woodlands who spoke the At Atacapa language historically lived along the Gulf of Mexico. The competing Choctaw people use this term for the people and European settlers adopted the term for them. So the competing Choctaw, why were they competing with the Atacapa? I don't know, man. They call themselves the Ishak. Don't sound like Isaac, man. Which translates as the people. Wow. Okay. Okay. The people were disseminated by infectious disease after European contact. Contact sound like the same thing with this uh, little ice age. 1762, Louisiana was transferred to Spain following French defeat in the Seven Years' War. Little was written about the Atacapa as a people due to a high rate of deaths from infectious epidemics, pandemics, right? Of the late 18th century, they caused or they ceased to function as a people. Disease, man. Plague, man. Survivors genuinely joined the Kado, Kawasati, and other neighboring nations. Don't this Kado keep coming up, man? This Kado just keep popping up. Keep saying we're going to go deeper in this Kado. Now it's back to talking about Indiana territory or Indian territory. They were forced to a reservation in Texas, man. So look, all this is happening. And this is all around that Kanka Hawa situation, the Texas Indian Wars, man. So you can see them linking up in real time. The Mississippian culture, all that, man. All this is happening with this Atacapa, man. So these are all great links. We also got the Chita Maka, C H I T A T, or C H I T I M A C H A. 
federally recognized tribe now <laughs> of Native Americans who lived in the U.S. state of Louisiana. All right. Occupied the Atafalaya Basin, one of the richest inland and sinuaries, estuaries of the continent. So they spoke the Chittimaca language. And they inhabited the Mississippi River Delta. So you see that Cairo connection. The Chittimaca were divided into four sub-tribes. The Kawasha, the Chittimaca, the Washa, and the Yagin. Nachito. These terms were what the Choctaw people called sub-tribes based on the characters of the geographic territories. The name Kawasha is a Choctaw term for raccoon place. Washa is also Choctaw and means hunting place. Yaganakito means big country. You see how we are turning, you know, into more investigative trails. I <laughs> love to drop nation. Love to Alexis Lero. Yeah, Leona Abbas is Cody Mayo just pubbed a video about the Sears, uh, CYR, CYRs, who were given the Louisiana area by the Duke of France. Then I think he said. The U.S. took them over Trail of Tears, Louisiana Purchase. And again, we got to go further in the Louisiana Purchase, right? So probably the Revolutionary War finished it out. Wow. Shout out Cody Mayo, man. I mean, you know, it's not by accident, man, that this indigenous truth was just coming out, you know what I'm saying, and correlating in multiple classrooms and multiple flow, whether we're talking... Bro Sanchez to UB News to Cootie Mayo. Uh, shout out Big Judah, you know what I'm saying? Big Dane Callaway, man. And all my noggers doing amazing things, man. You know what I mean? Um, I see y'all, man. We see y'all, man. We we appreciate witnessing my noggers pop off. Temple R. Irvin Reed, you know what I'm saying? Natural by law, yourself the real. The bro nine spiral, you already know, man. So I'm constantly you know, being um, inspired, you know what I mean, to connect more things, right? When you say, man, let me fall back. Nah, you, you can't, you know, <laughs> it's just too much, too much fun to pop off, man, as a tribe, tribe. And to do this investigation together is truly the crown jewel of it all. Shout out to Ah uh, He Zane TV, new sub, loving these videos so much, I swear. Hey, shout out to you, Aqua. Contessa Taylor, I quite what it do. MHOE, as soon as we get caught up, here comes another one. I love it. Like I said, man, shout out to Five Eyes, my, my Shiga. <laughs> he said, hey, man, go ahead and, you know, take the ball in for the easy touchdown, man. Like we right there at the scrimmage. You know, we, we right there, man. So we went ahead and my ox and aquas, you know, blocked. You know, <laughs> block made me made me a great hole to run through, man. And I, I went ahead and took it in for my noggins, man. So I appreciate all the, <laughs> you know, the the sweat, the tears, you know, everything that you've had to go through to, you know, block and make sure Naga was hijack free <laughs> as we scored the touchdown for Drive Nation, man. Shout out to the tribe. I let go. Big bro chief stand still with it, dude. Said Baruch. Bless up, fam. Yo, my, my sister's still popping off. Leona, if you take a Google Earth an image of American, Americans, turn it on the side, you can see a dragon head. Oh, man. Though most would tell you it is, or tell you to keep it as it is to see a turtle, but you got to turn it on the side to see the dragon okay so are we dragging the turtles and perhaps the two are the inverse of each other 
Uh oh. Sister got that drop, man. Charles Johnson, what it do? Amara Khan. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be the hijack, right? Or hijack for that matter. Leona, you got the drop. You also see the octagon on top of that triangle. Sacred land. Still talking about that migration triangle, man. And shout out to the bro, a minister informing for that map because we've been popping off and steady work, steady water. My sister J AOS, what it do? Much a high for this brother drop. But hey, hey, hop to you, Aqua. Wick News 81, honey. Moby Dick drop. Both Ahab and Ishmael are fascinated by the whale, which we know is a dragon. But whereas Ahab perceives him exclusively as evil, Ishmael keeps an open mind. Ahab has a static worldview, blind to new information. But Ishmael's worldview is constantly in flux as new insights and uh, realizations occur. And flux in turn is the chief characteristics of Ishmael himself. So this is a quote or, you know, some drop from that. Uh, well, I guess that's the Bobby Dick drop. Uh, there's a movie that came out called uh, Age of. What's it called? Age of Dragons or. Oh, man, something like Age of Age of something, man. Age of Guardians or Age of Dragons but it's based on the Moby Dick flow. And you have the same character names, Ahab, Ishmael. <laughs> so you know they playing on some level of the ancient frequency. And this Moby Dick is not a whale. <laughs> it is a dragon. So let's go. Preston John 85, La Wai. I know, call me, I know. Legend, the DJ, would it do? The map at the beginning as a place called Lafayette. I live in Lafayette, Louisiana. Man, something is up with Louisiana. Caramel got the drop. Appreciate you, con drop. Hey, it's all happening, like I'm saying. You're seeing the merge of the water, not spirals, and also Mount Caramel and Udall. Yeah, because we were talking about the Mount Caramel, you know, connected to the the Indiana flow, you know what I'm saying? But it's also a Udall flow with it. Anything just to remember our name. I tell you, man, Leona got the drop. Reconnected says the street I grew up on is named Tecumse Court. Well, where'd you grow up, man? Where'd you grow up? Hey, shout out to Tecumse. The, the Kuri Mayo says, yes, same. Acadia, Acadia. Were well, you spelling it with a K or a C? For sure, we're seeing clearly more and more wool. <laughs> hey, hey, how Kuri Mayo, man, get in the classroom. The bro's popping off nonstop. Knowledge, knowledge, the most cartoon series called Emperor's New Groove. Main character name is Phineas. Might be something, huh? And then uh, someone said, I thought his name was Cusco, named after the ancient panther shaped city, Cusco. And then No Lodge said, I think you're right. <laughs> Finio. <laughs> Finio was part of it somehow. I remember vaguely because my nephew was young. Someone said, you're thinking about Phineas Fur. Hey, either way, Phineas is everywhere, man. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, we can see clearly now the rain is gone. Shout out Lawrence Richardson, Contessa Taylor, Jaron Jones said, I stayed in Indianapolis. We are the policed Indians, policy Indians, Indianapolitics, Indianapolitics, or Indian politics. Okay. All these spots, Danville, Indiana, Caramel, Indiana, I'm familiar with. Shout out to Jaron Jones. Mama T, what it do? This is my stomping ground. Shout out to Mama T. Mac Don, what it do? Pop off, man. Naga, pop off, man. Shadid Holmes, 
pop up, man. Said there's a Danville, Virginia. There's a lot of Danvilles, huh? Danville, Kentucky, too, says Mike Jones. Man, let's go. Crystal Anderson, hey, uh, Dizzle Fitty, big Dizzle Fitty. Yeah, go hit up our IG, see these maps that Dizzle is pulling out of every man, uh, you know. He's going into that found the youth and finding maps, man. And <laughs> it's just nothing but water, man. Right there on the IG at 432 to drop. Shout out Dizzle Fitty, man. Hey, uh, PJ85, Lego. Hey, call me Hano. Hano one on. Uh, what's the backup channel? Yeah, I, I left the link here, but I make sure I leave it for all my loggers. So we always ready. We always prepare. We always prepare, man. And sorry for the typos, but the water for understanding anyway. And thank you for the link. Drop Nation got my heart bone. Never want to miss this. And that's all. Hey, if if we did it all this time to get a few real ones like this that, you know, connect with the heart bone of Drop Nation, man. I know it's not about one Naga, but it's about all of us, man. And keeping our integrity intact, keeping our code. Then we we hit our mark, man. You know, it really is a victory. We popping off, man. Fifth wave, we all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Just, just look out for it. Kanka Key, shout out to Shantae, Gary, Senior. Kanka. <laughs> He said the area of the Kanka Key was inhabited by the Patawati, Patawatami beginning sometime in the 18th century. Kanka Key was founded 1854. Okay. And then he, you know, dropped some drop on the, and I think we actually shared a lot of this on that drop, Council of Three Fires. So Patawatami, or the youngest brother in the council. Ka. Native American people of the Western Great Lakes region, Upper Mississippi River and Great Plains. We're talking about the Patawatomi, the Patawatomi. God. Hey, shout out to the bro, Shante Junior. That's amazing. Hey, drippity drop. <laughs> Aqua Leona. Surfing away with you. Enjoy. Comments on comments. And this one right here, man, you know, definitely um, <laughs> got a lot of nuggets thinking, man. This Presta 80, 86, you know what I'm saying? It's Moors of Mooresville. <laughs> We're looking at uh, these maps, trying to decipher the code. B.O.W. says, B.O.W. White. Says Cairo is at the beginning of the Mississippi River. Right. Man, when you connect Cairo to Egypt and the Mississippi with the Nile, what do you get, man? What's the Mississippi, man? So Cairo is at the beginning of the Mississippi River and the Ohio River Drop Nation. It's a lot to look into. But the Most High is opening all the truth to the researchers, man. Hey, shout out to the Reconners, man. Alababa says Cairo means beginning, and beginning means bonding of water. Ohio means the opening. And yeah, that is interesting. Shout out Alibaba. Levi Ball, what it do, Levy Ball. This was fire kind of from the I'm from the shy, so this Midwest drop really hit me because I didn't know all this drop here. You really dug deep in this investigation. Like, always, I always think the garbage dumps here were mounds while wow. heading south on the Bishop Ford Highway toward Indiana. I'm going to check out Kankaki to appreciate the drop. Con KTC. Inmate Joey. Shout out to Levy. Ball the third or Levi. Is it Levi? Let's go. Hunter for Khan, what it do? Health, wealth, and prosperity to all views. No more suit publishing. What it do? It says travel from the land of Dragon Canoe to the Crazy Horse Monument. <sighs> Amazing journey. We stopped at Monk's Mound to pay homage along the voyage. 
Thanks for bringing light to our holy lands. It made your eat. Don from the real. Shalom, man. Go ahead, baby. Shalom, man. Just imagine that trip, man. I know that had to be truly spectacular, man. From the land of Dragon Canoe to the crazy horse, man. Stephen Torres. So when they say Clay was one of the names that Pusha P was rocking with that made my ears go up. I wonder if there's any Muhammad Ali cash is clay also from Louisiana, Kentucky connection. We know his ancestral home is in Jamaica, home of some of the Caribs and Arawaks. But I wonder if any of the Caribbean, South American tribes were involved with this particular more and more war. And this is why we got to ask the question. Shout out, Ox Stephen Torres. Lou 93, what it do? Wow, this drop, this this truly is the drop. Thank you, brother. All praise to the most high. Allah. So vision network, what it do. He said, I haven't watched. I haven't wanted to watch. I have so many mixed thoughts and feelings. And even as I watch it now, this is near and dear to me. I'm from these locations on here. I made a post about my school being named the Harrison Warriors a couple years ago. Named after that man. It's starting to make a lot of sense. Different factions and different fights in one. I speak on the Euro stealing birthrights and becoming red faced, red man with painted faces. And to add to it, my paternal grandmother was a white Indian. Now let me finish the video. <laughs> this prompted me to look up the Miami Indians and a depiction I saw was what I expected. But the story I read as I scrolled images was interesting. Shout out, so Vision, man. Just digging on the family history, man. It's deep for all of us. It's going to cut all of us. We're going to have family on this side. We're going to have family on that side. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, we got to open those, those wounds a little bit, you know, to get a better healing process going. That's all, man. So keep surfing away with us. And we'll keep surfing away with you. My family arrived in Kankakee when I was three or four years old from Mississippi. Shout out Diana Brown. Kankakee, Illinois, then was a small rural town. One of your viewers mentioned Kankakee. It was found in 1954. Is that the same as established? My big mama had been there years before. My mom and the rest of the tribe followed. I remember the Kankaki. It was a huge, it was one huge black scary river. Oh, huge black scary river. I was always uncomfortable crossing that river. Now I believe I know why. The spirit of our ancestors were calling out to me as I passed their bodies lost in the depth and the death grip of the muddy waters. I knew Kankaki was an Indian name, but knew no other history. Of course, we lived on our side of town and the other people lived on their side of town. We thought it was paradise. It must have been the Garden of Eden once upon a time. Thank you for your in-depth lesson. Looking forward to more on Kankaki. Peace and light to you and family. Diane Brown, you got the drop. And shout out to your family. Hey, hop to your family. <clears throat> I mean, I can imagine, you know, <laughs> this black, scary river, you know, and feeling the vibration of all that, of all that genocide and all that death, you know what I'm saying? And this is what we feel, like the bro said, you know, makes us feel uncomfortable, you know, having mixed thoughts and feelings, man. And, you know, so I'm glad to do it with you, and you know, I'm glad you're doing it with me, you know with the tribe tribe. Shout out Chief Atala. Shalawam Chief the Wada for the knowledge. Keep it coming. Shalawam Chief Atala. John Paul says late 1600s, early 1700s. Uh, John Sevier from Hancock County, Tennessee reported a people of Moorish descent settling on Newman's Ridge. 
not too far from the wild box. Makes perfect sense, bro. Talking about the same territory. Your Valine ain't nothing worse than a confused car. <laughs> it makes you straight up. Hey, can't even, you know, you know who you are. You know, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce what you're saying right here. Man. <laughs> Toshiavi, Toshiavi. Sounds like you got a new mic, man. <laughs> Sorry, good, brother. Keep it up. Hey. With this mic, I would love to say your name correctly, man. But uh, I guess you wanted it to be a challenge, man. <laughs> Toshiyavi. I'm just going, Toshiyavi? All right, here we go. Shout out Toshiyavi. Yeah, you know, it's not the, it's not a new mic. It's my same mic, uh, but I'm just kind of using it, you know, in a, uh, you know, for normally I use it for the live streams, you know, but not really just for the drop straight for the tube, but I am using it for that now. So, hey, the water for noticing, bro. I appreciate that. I say, Brown, appreciate all you do, but this one is one I can't bear to watch. I know so well of the backstabbing that has taken place and what still persists to this day. That sounds like the bro, you know, was popping off with Zo, you know, Zo Vision popping off, man. It's, Giving us mixed feelings, man. You know what I mean? So the truth is meant to hurt sometimes. You know, we don't present this drop disrespectfully. You know what I'm saying? We present it as a family member. Talking about a family war more and more. I'm not speaking from outside these tribes. I'm speaking from the hard bone of the Nagas that have lost their identity, who've been cut off from being a nation, man. Not to blame nobody because it could not have happened unless we first dismantled our own foundation. I can't blame you for knocking what was left over. You know what I'm saying? It was us that dismantled ourselves, man. So we can't give nobody power over us. Only Hawa. But you know, we 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 feel you, my bro Isaiah Brown. Shout out to Golden Me. Our narrative is the law of time, 13 heavens and nine hells of time. Teletanan Alan prophecy. Okay. Hey, I got to dig on it. Our ancestors always understood how the cycles of time work. Are we talking about that key, that car? Hey, shout out to Brother Kai. What it do? Popping off in Hawaii. Let's get it, man. Battle up. So you got positive Kai and negative Kai. Energy play out in the 13 heavens and nine hell narrative. All right, man. Go to me, pop off. Prepare slaughter, your Valine talking about, man. She says that they shall not rise and fill the world with lies. Talking about that hijack. Creole Kid 77, Baruch, Charles Johnson, <laughs> American. Let's go. Liana Abbott, so a company won't deal with you if you don't accept their contract in full. But be it that all the Nagas did not accept the company, somehow it still got signed and pushed through. We're talking about that Fort Wayne Treaty with 30 million acres, man. 30 million acres of your land. <laughs> the Coombs says, like, we weren't at these meetings where y'all giving up our land. Well, how can y'all speak for the whole tribe? And that's just one tree. Add up the rest and you got all three continents, north, central, and south. 30 million turn into. <laughs> well, you, you add up the rest. We got three continents worth. Leona Abbott got the drop, man. Lawrence, Rich <clears throat> Lawrence Richardson got the drop. Grateful for the opportunity to hear, man. Shout out Lawrence Richardson. Jason Griffin, Truth in the Booth. That loose everything. Shout out to my Naga. He's a wonderful author. We got a piece of his book. You know what I'm saying? And, and just keep writing, bro. Just keep building. Keep doing what you're doing. Shalom to our aquas and ox popping off. Hey, Shalom to you, man. Excellent author. And, you know, a Naga like you, a true scribe like you, 
We truly need you, bro. The tribe needs you, man. So keep going. Mama T, what it do? I think this is my Aqua Tracy, man. Aqua Tracy, what it do? <laughs> if this is you, Aqua, you know what I mean? Either way, Mama T, what it do? I'll send a map with Cairo, uh, Little Egypt, Illinois, God. So she sent that joint, man. I got to check. I got to check it. I got to check out for it, man. The water aqua. Oh, if this is my aqua Tracy, like I think it is, man, my aqua put so many PDFs, you know what I'm saying? Organized and calibrated for the tribe. You about to get it and you press the pack twos. So the water, my aqua Tracy lab. Israel, what it do? Always in the lives, <laughs> always popping off. Shout out Israel Sharp. I knew pulling up in Mooresville, Indiana, too much. Many KKK had to be Indian grounds. Had to be, huh? <laughs> uh, now they're talking about urban myths, man. <laughs> S2, ha, ha, S2. Okay. Drop con, you're awesome. Davida, beloved, is also Valencia or Valentina. Valentina, okay. So the Vida is also Valentina. Talking about Chilagare, High Brazil, Warrior High Priestess, not High Irish, <laughs> Black Eyed Orientals, the Most High over everything. My Hebrew ancestors are popping off all over. Hawa, rain, Hawa. High praise above. All my elders are Maru Khans. This be why I'm a stranger in the new world. You're straight up body bagging the illusion. I love you. Trust me, she was Hebrew. Destroyed Canaan with her dragon, Brock. She killed Josephus with her spear. Thoth got ate by lions. Man, the family saying a lot. The family saying a lot, right? <laughs> so, you know, I like to dig on these uh, high Amazon queens, warrior, high priestesses. So, not high rich, <laughs> high Brazil, high. priestesses we popping off man all across the earth playing right now so we talking about lady david or davida with her dragon barat destroyed canaan and killed josephus which one <laughs> with her spear and then Thoth got ate by lion. I mean, I, I, he's saying a whole lot. Y'all know her as Khalifa, California, okay? So you're saying that Khalifa is Davida? And if Khalifa is also uh, Sheba or Bathsheba, who is married to David, who has Solomon, then that's Sheba, who is Khalifa. Who is Davida? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you start to put it all together. You know, you got a David title, and Bathsheba also has a Davida title. Also a Khalifa title. And she has dragons that they call griffins. I know her as Chilrin or Chilgardi. <laughs> Children, she delivered justice for David's daughter, Tamar, her sister, okay, who Brazil beheaded or Basil beheaded at St. Barbara. And the fam saying a lot, man. That's why these comments are invaluable, man. It's not a, you know, I can't put a value on your comments, man. We're talking comments and medias, right? <laughs> and dragons. To steal her throne, armor, and spear. So Basil beheaded Santa Barbara, right? We got a Santa Barbara, California. Beheaded 
to steal her armor and her spear. Hawaii. <laughs> Pop off, man. Shout out to S2. Ha ha, S2. <laughs> uh, Jiu-Jitsu kid, straight flames. Let's get it, man. Dragon Slayer family, I find something. I found something. White River Canada matches the White River on your map. Look it up. Mmm. What if it's the same river? But there is a white river, you know, connected with that Wabash flow. And he's saying that there's a white river, Canada, that matches it. Well, okay. Maybe it's the same. We got to dig on it. X Clan, aka Amazon Warrior, aka Preston John Descent. Shout out to Or, Or the Dove. Amaro Khans, can you say Ark? La Tex, Arc La Tex, pop off. You know, he's just surfing the wave. We impressed the 86, man. Hey, surfing the wave with Leanne. <laughs> Alfred Harden, 100. Hey, call me Hano. Hey, he put that 100 out there just to let me know to keep going to hit Preston 100. So we do it for you, fam. We do it for you. Say so shout out to you, fam, for the drop. Hey, fam, I was like, who are my people? Because it said my family fought with the French, so we're not French against the English, so we're not English, and Cherokee, so we're not Cherokee. Then who are we? Good luck again on the drop. I guess he's narrowing it down. Shout out Alfred, Alfred Hardy, Carla, Randolph, said not my treaty, man. Yeah, we, we went in on the treaties, and again, you know, it's not to – you know, poke no blame or, you know, cause no ill feelings towards any tribes. We're just putting it together so we can put our story together, man. Have some recompense, man, even if it's just, you know, that's a why I say, you know, we, we wake up, we realize what we've done to each other. We get filled with that morning, man. We get filled, you know, with that with that weeping, you know what I'm saying? We we shed tears, even inward tears, man, because it didn't have to be this way. You just didn't have to be this way. My surfboard beat up, but I haven't seen waves like this high since the water broke. <laughs> Shout out to Hell Well Prosperity. Hunter for Cop, man. My surfboard beat up, but I haven't seen waves this high since the water broke, man. That's straight bars right there, man. Dragon Slayer, what it do? Love this comment real tough. <laughs> it's always love when you're dealing with the water. Primary. Say that, my little canoe <laughs> in tears. Dang, we really need that Ezekiel 37, 21 to 28 to come through. Why? It says we were living in the land of Jacob. Where exactly was Jacob's land? Hey, Davada. We're talking about, the, talking about that Davida, right? Davada. Great job, bro. We've always been here and they know it straight up, man. Be your dub, what it do. A wild drop nation, I believe, wisdom is Proverbs 3 5 through 8, the disconnect. The disconnect with our family, Israel, is because we are so locked in our own perspective. We don't leave room to grow in knowledge, understanding, which we need both to have wisdom. Drop Nation, I will continue praying for Hawa to open up the truth. All praises to the Most High. Let's go. Leona says, so when they're out, out here browbeating us with knowledge, is power, knowledge is power, knowledge is power. And constantly told, we don't understand, so we need to get more knowledge. We begin to forget understanding itself. A lost memory may have been the fact that they knew we were Tarde Ma. And as such, they spoke of it as Tarde Ma equally or being said as Lost memory. 
am I making sense? Hey, pop off, Aqua. Is as if they were saying the people have lost their memory, the people are tardy ma. Remember, tardy ma is that ruach, tardy ma, that deep sleep. The people are am amnesia, could be modern day consideration, so to speak. And what do you think this tardy ma got to do with these comments and these? you know, great eclipses and these dragons, you know what I'm saying? You think Hawaii sends certain dragons to put us to sleep and certain dragons to spread the frequency to wake us up? You know, all these signs that we're supposed to be seeing, you know what I mean? What's it got to do with the eclipses? The black sun, right? Let's go. Look at this, Code Keepers. Hawa, uh huh. Jamaica got the patwa, uh huh. Family, something looks, some things look better now. Jamaican people call patwa like me, seven. <laughs> Shout out to my Jamaican nuggets, man. Mike Don, Hawa, Shadow man. Lawrence Robertson, Richardson, <laughs> what it do? Charles Johnson, hey, American. I told you, man, you, you gonna get that American popping off. Peace to the tribe. In Jamaica, Hawa means what happens, family. Right? What happens, what happened, what is happening, what is to be, what is becoming, what exists, what is existing. Hawa. Hey, let's go. Isaiah Brown, since he was killed by his own, it was a traitor in the midst. Hint, hint, same as JC was a setup. Not that JC is my belief, but my understanding of the aspect of JC is only a sacrifice. The ultimate sacrifice, it is the same to this day. We black men, Nagas, original cons are the ultimate sacrifice. No one understands. That's a fact, you know, that JC sacrifice is just a symbol of your sacrifice as an entire nation. And it gave it back to you, bottled up as one image of one Naga on the cross when all you Nagas been on the cross. Can't nobody die for your sins, man. <laughs> Every Naga has to hold they, they cold, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Scrillionaire Guap, Iowa, Hawaii. 10 that C, C the 10 tries. <laughs> Tennessee or Tunisia. <laughs> Let's go. Soulfully so and see. Shalom. Calling Israelites black is a byword. Otherwise, you're colorblind. The prophetic Hebrew history book was transcribed by conquerors and the colonizers, conquistadors inserted themselves. No such thing as POC when you're the original. Ab or Israelite brown people. That's a new reclassification. <laughs> you mean varying melanin shades of copper, brass, brown, melanin, penny, brown skin tones with white or black woolly hair. <laughs> Goes in the first Maccabees. Yeah, man. And laid open the book, Maccabees 348. Laid open the book of the law where in the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. Now we're talking iconoclasm, man. Oh, my aqua dropped some links for show, for show. Go get it. Oh, yeah. Allah, Allah, Bama, Allah, Hawa. Squirrel, you know, guap. Pop off, man. Solar Disc Productions, peace, peace. Hawa. Dragon Slayer, much love, Fanny Coke Keepers 100. I'm trying to keep hard, trying hard to keep the cold, big brother. I have this vision about L. I was given two keys on top of the mountain, copper color keys with the name L. If you want to see it, or if you want, I can send you my number. I think you should know about this video. It's about my vision. You know what, Managi? I believe you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I believe you, but definitely email me, man, if you want to break it down. Music at 432thedrop.com, man. <laughs>
I knock is popping off with dreams, man. <laughs> knock is getting real dreamy out there in Dreamville, man. Hey, hey, wakey, wakey, my noggins, man. Wakey, wakey, man. It's all happening. Where we at, man? So far, we did 84, we did 85, we did 86. Let's tap in on 87. Oh, that was 87. Man, hey, we moving, man. We moving. 88. You know, I don't know if I'm going to get everything, but, you know, I'm getting a big chunk of these comments. I want you to know I appreciate you. My Naga said, what? <laughs> man, you are for sure popping off. I can't keep up with the videos. All praise of why, always. And that's just pure water flowing. Hey, hi, my Naga. Me, Edwards, OCO. Much love for the stellar drop right here. There's no indoctrination institution in the land teaching these facts. A million things you simply won't do. Or a million thank yous. <laughs> simply won't do. Hey, you, all we got to say is halal wa. I mean, halal wa is like a hundred million gazillion thank yous to the career. So most high over everything. Tribe up all day. Beanie, baby, what it do? Just the way you break it all down through all these lessons that the Drop Nation family has given to us. It's priceless. All praise to most high. Wow. Digging on this drop, Brad. Shout out to Brad Fred, driven on, digging on this drop. <laughs> and all that old junior high, high school rhetoric came flooding in. I sit in these classes like Alabama history, U.S. history. These textbooks were full of lies, half-truths, and our indigenous culture. I've been a militant my entire life due to being the youngest in my family with brothers who were raised with clarity in the 50s and 60s. So I thought differently than most. But hearing, reading, and seeing the bullshit we endure made it certain that there was more to the story. And I devoted my life to find out what that, what that more was. A hop to the entire Nagaville tribe for keeping me focused on what's true <laughs> and where we all need to strive to be tribing up and keeping the code by any and all means necessary, bound by prophetic law to keep the peace, peace alive. Hawaii, hello, Hawaii, Miss D know what it do. <laughs> Separate land treaties was the original separation before segregation and then integration. Heartbreak, probably quite literally, as the heart equals people equals land. Heart of the earth was broken into pieces and sold off. You know, these comments are, you know, inspired by. The frequency that's coming out of digging, you know what I'm saying? Big Fred Edison. This is how we feeling. You know, we've been lied to. Half truths. We popping up, getting that trill, keeping the cold a lot while. Country Western, what it do, Aqua, Abia. We gonna keep. The fire burning, matter of fact, I got fresh wood in my truck right now that's been riding with me for months, ready to spark. Con Drop, you are phenomenal and have not changed since day one. Your delivery has been constant and non-changing, and that's what real cons do. Like I tell you in Nagaville, you are anointed and sent to do this job. Cool. Aqua, we have been raised up. We are sent to do this job, and we are on coon aqua country western got the drop craig williams thank you drop for all the drop i was missing a drop a few weeks back now eating the drop again hey one hundo <laughs> let's go contessa taylor all praising most the most oh uh i think she's saying uh framer uh, i don't know uh, framer say i can't you know I, it's a lot of acronyms, right? <laughs> okay. I can't remember all the acronyms, but I know the pure water, though. <laughs> MHO. <laughs> I'm in here like last year. Kyle, my brother, ain't playing. 
press the 125. Oh, see. Here we go. All right. Y'all ready, man? <laughs> y'all ready for 125? I know y'all ready. We're going to get that exclusively at 432thedrop.com. So look out for these drops. 102 is going to be dropping only on the website at 432thedrop.com. So be tuning in and checking in starting now, my knock. It's all happening. Allow, uh, this is an amazing bill. Regulator 9, Leo Rise, what it do? Mama T. Shalom drop it. It's my understanding that the Ivy League colleges are our colleges and schools of learning. I'll look for the sources, but somewhere it says that our priests, royalty, and scholars went to school for 20 years. So it is my theory that they took over our schools. It seems the lands they stole were not just homes and farmlands, but schools, universities, libraries, books, and knowledge. You know what, Aqua? That makes perfect sense. This is what makes these Ivy Leagues, Ivy League elite. They would not dare allow us to be in our building. Look at the architecture. These people did not build these buildings, not the historical ones. Food for thought, Mama T's popping off. The Kum say speech, shots fired, fair warning, productive, a bad circumstance. He said, hey, man, it's going to be popping off if you let these people uh, inherit this land. If y'all hijack set one foot on this 30 million acres of land, Nah, man, y'all don't get this because these tribes want to make some deal with you. You don't get to sell our land. It will be productive of a bad circumstance to you, Hi, <laughs> The Kunse was not on no play play, man. Shout out to Leona. Always popping off. Chief stand still been Israel. 5,000 of them versus 500 of us. Let go. Let's get it. Real warrior right there, man. Psalm 144 say, Baruch be the most high, my strength, which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Facts. <laughs> and just to think, he could have had 5,000 more with him, you know what I'm saying? Jason Griffin, no one believed me younger. You are the proof that you can't. You cannot bury the truth, pun intended. <laughs> Straight up. Jason Griffin, pop off. Lawrence Richardson, popping off. Leona Abbott, mission indockable. Indockable. <laughs> okay. Tony Walker, I have read somewhere that the Europeans who came to fight here in the 1490s and a bit earlier, I'm sure, believed it was the end of the world. Yeah, we had a drop, you know, man, back in 2000. Maybe 16, 17, talking about the millenarians and how they thought that it was or it was the millennium or, you know, whatever. It, it was 1666. These millenarians thought the world was ending. Columbus included was a millenarian who thought the world was ending in 1666. So by finding us, they literally extended their life, man. Found a whole new world, right? Judging from your descriptions of European peasants from 1300s to 1850, sounds about right. No sun, no animals, no food. <laughs> also no forest because of all the wars, ships, fires, and such. I also believe, I read, uh, I read in this book, the big fat surprise about the food industry reality, or really, that when the European settlers got here, the Americas, Southern states even, they were marveling at the livestock because they had never seen such animals. Yeah, man. I mean, just like uh, the American Holocaust saying by Daniels, David Stannard, you know, they thought they were in a dream. They thought they was dreaming. They thought they was dreaming, man. Love how the info can be a trigger point for further quests and investigation. Bless up. Thanks for the many seasonal drops, infinite energy in the ether, man. That's beautiful. Hey, hop, Tony Walker, man. The one Hawa for that trumpet. Could have made y'all. We out of here. Ahu, Ahua. 
He Indian, Ahawak Indian Nation. What it do, man? Shalom. Hey, American. <laughs> Americans popping off. Charles Johnson. Federica Clark. France the same. Hey, maybe France is the same. But which France? Hey, I love it, though. I love it, though. How I perceive it, those African slaves were the white albinos taken from Africa and distributed all over the world. Only slave ships they had coming to America was theirs. Google is filled with these arrivals. This naga had white slaves. Shalom. <laughs> Hey, not saying melanated folk couldn't or wasn't slaves on our land. It's just I see through this African slave narrative, in my opinion, because we are so brainwashed, thinking the slave African of history was us, but actually them. They can speak truth. We're just going to automatically think it was us. My aqua is popping off, man. Reversing the curse, man. Reversing the narrative. It's all we ever had to do. Reverse the curse. Reverse the narrative. A lot of niggas popping off in this coming together of opposites. I'm just going to call my bro right here. Um, Tashavi, man. <laughs> this makes sense in relation to it being a lot cooler. Oh, we're talking about that ice age. If you look at a lot of the old restored video in low frames per second, everyone is wearing a massive amount of clothes all across the world. I've always wondered why this would be, as you can clearly see the sun is out and it is not winter time. Nice observation. Shout out to Shavi. <laughs> MJIM. Khan, real rap, the consistency and dedication is phenomenal. Much a hop to all the ox and aquas over at Drop Nation. Hey, that's what we're talking about. Much a hop to the ox and aquas at Drop Nation. Y'all leaving the ops no choice <laughs> to change their tune to the original tune. They seeing their tune leads to destruction sooner than Later, I'll praise the Hawaii M-H-O-E-K-T-C. Halawa. I mean, I pray that my ox leave this demon time, destructive time, because they say, hey, just put it in the cost-benefit ratio. Like my dad told me before he passed, you know, everything you do got to, you got to put it in the cost benefit ratio. If the benefit always a cost, great, you know, keep keep popping off. But if the cost of that thing always the benefit, it's time to drop it, man, and, and choose up. You know what I'm saying? So we know that the benefit of keeping the cold, <laughs> you know, truly uh, outweighs the cost of anything we have to give up to do it. And we know that the cost of not keeping a cold outweighs all them benefits that we get in the short term. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, let's keep popping off, man. Hi, mom, dad. Right, this is confusing, man. This is confusing talk. Man. What, what are you saying, man? What are you saying, man? The hijack is always the author of confusion. Bang. Settlements and treaties that lead to sibling rivalry. I experienced this firsthand. Hey, we all have. <laughs> Deal with your heart bone. Shout out to my guash mar. She brews and bakes. <laughs> Everybody going through. Alexis LaRoe, yo, the drops keep coming. Hey, I got to keep up. We keep enough, my knock. Mama T, Shalom, drop your popping off. I must catch up, okay? It's. It'll be a good work week with you as my company. I'm on PJ86. And it feels good. It has to feel good to know that you got more, you know what I mean, to to dig on. Like you could be in 86 and we might be popping off 89, you know what I mean? But it got to feel 
it gotta feel good knowing like yo, I, I got something to watch. Like I, I got something to look forward to. And, you know, we're gonna keep all these great series going. You know, look out for the Cold Keeper series part four coming in hot, man. And back on the flat drop coming in hot as well. And the Presley series will continue exclusively on our website at 432thedrop.com. And we're going to keep the uh, Cities of Gold series going as well. You know what I mean? We're going to keep transitioning, man. Shout out Mama T, Kendrick Bowman, what it do, or Bowen. I'm so thankful to have been led here. Awesome work always. Shout out Kendrick. B.O.W. White, a wild drop nation. Drop, you're on point with so much knowledge and understanding, or should I say wisdom. I wanted to say thank you and drop nation for all the truth you have uncovered. All praises to the most high. Wow. Shout out B-O-W. Templar Urban Reed said this isn't an anime review, but the Kumse seems to be a template for Hashirama and Naruto. <laughs> His unique wood release ninja style being called the God of Shinobi. Finds the village hidden in leaf, a forest village in the land of fire. Whoa, Tar Fuego, the hero of the first great ninja war. Don't remind me, I'm only talking romance, which means we're only talking about a hero. A <laughs> Templar Irvin Reed, go get the drop from the Templar Irvin Reed. He said, I've been wondering since each. Captivity represents an ice or an age, and an age represents a day. Then we're at the end of the fifth age, age of or from Noah, Moses, Daniel, until now, depend on how you vibrate. Thus, the beginning of the latter days, sixth and seventh day, and the end of days, first to fifth days, a prophetic week being a thousand years. Or millennial reign sounds more like a function of calculation. 2022 through 1,000 equals 1,022 plus 120 years of Moses. It's 1142. What was popping off in the mid-12th century? Joshua pops off after Moses. Preston John's letter pop off 1122 or 1165, they say. Templars pop off against the invasion. In the original crusade between 1119 and 1139, before the Catholic hijack of the Templars, Anatoly calculate the birth of Christ, year zero to, to 1153. <laughs> Keep your foot on a neck bone. Hey, conca, hey. hey, look, man, I can't make this up, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? This type of recon, Templar is the reason, you know, we continue, you know what I'm saying? And, really validated and gave so much foundation to the work, man, the great work, man. So allow a while for you, my bread, Templar Irvin Reed. The enemy targeted the Kumse because his powers were not damned in the Tarde Ma. He was still able to call lightning and earthquake and did so. Sitting here watching Spiral 9 and this came to mind. <laughs> Shout out, Nine Spiral. As you see, it's a community, you know what I mean? It takes a community to continue, reconnect it. And I want that order so bad. Which, which order are you talking about? Uh, you know, the uh, MHOE, you know, uh, <laughs> keeping the cold. You want to feel the order. And we all want to be in order. And if you want it, you're going to attain it. You got to work like anything else to really train, you know what I'm saying? Um, your mind, your body, your ruach. And this is what the great work is for all of us, you know what I'm saying? So shout out Reconnect. I think you're talking that order. If you're talking like a drop order or something, <laughs> then email me, let me know what you're talking about. And shout out to all my noggers, you know, still waiting on anything. Like I said, you know, coming out the you know, fence building and, and press the flow. So now I'm focusing on packs and getting orders back out. So, you know, um, your, your contribution is really, you know, true heartbone contribution. And 
that don't make up for, <laughs> you know, waiting a long time or nothing like that. It just means that I know, you know, you, you, you know, you're getting more than, you know, some, you know, generic product, you know, you know that you're getting a real, you know, thing, you know what I'm saying? If it's a press the pack, you're getting, you know, a real compilation of, of drop, you know what I'm saying? That was specifically included for this specific investigation. It's nothing generic about it. So, you know, I appreciate again, your patience, all my noggins, all these packs are going out and, uh, you know, the water for knowing that you got the real thing when you deal with drop nation, man, and, whatever we're putting out and giving to you. So hit us up. If you are uh, waiting anything, keep hitting us up. Make sure, you know, uh, you stay on the top of our queue, man. You know what I'm saying? And make sure that we got constant reminders to make sure all your orders are going out. So if you're talking that order, let me know. <laughs> if you're talking MHOE, then we're doing it together, man. <laughs> Trey Tosh music, what it do, man. Shout out to bro, Trey Tosh and the entire Tosh family. A hop, ah, you are Dracon Fire with the PJ episodes. I might need some spirulina <laughs> to keep up. Allow, uh, hey, get that spirulina though. Shout out Clive, eh? making them spirulina shakes, man. A hop, ah, keep Drake Tosh. Shout out Wild Drop, you popping off. I must catch up. <laughs> it's going to take a good work week. All right, she's on the 86. Let's go. Another masterpiece, Con MHOE, KTC, Levy Ball, Pop Off, Wayne Mitchell. We all need to do a live, a live life claim. They claim we are dead at sea. I said, keeping the code of Hawaii is our live life claim to the only one that matters, man. We don't need to claim nothing for them, man. We popping up. No more paperwork, man. We don't need to do no paperwork for these. <laughs> For uh, you know, our our creator to see us as alive, we don't need no paperwork. I don't care if they call us dead, <laughs> we free. All this paperwork is 50 ways to hijack a Hebrew from living the true life. I keep reading these straw man tactics, and MH most high keeps showing us marionette strings attached beneath the paperwork. The straw man. There's a lot of cap creation. There's all cap creation in the dead, or is uh, there all cap creation is the dead. We cannot bring the dead to life. So if we claim the dead, then we become the dead. It doesn't become life, but rather a, say with me, graven image. Uh-oh. It is the body bag. <laughs> they bag your body up in this craving image of straw and you think you're alive but you're living by their strings so yeah dead <laughs> well can't say no better than that we don't have to claim <laughs> anything we just have to be Israel Fleming, White Island in Britain. It is, in its history, it's called the place of division. I'm talking about them whites. Templar, what it do? Word magic can be so amusing when they say little ice age. Did you hear ice of little age or little age of ice? <laughs> ice of little age makes a difference, although no right answer. The whole story is the alchemical serpent. And the whole truth is the alchemical dragon. Fifth wave coming in hot. Thank you a lot. Bush Hadora, a hot. Barukan Humako, Humako. They say Allah backwards is Hala. <laughs> Spanish is Hala or Heya sounds the same to me. Drop Nation, hey. Eh? Oh, wow. Blake had a blast. My fellow Naga, glad I found your channel. Shout out to you. And shout out to all the new wave surfers. It's all good. Like, you might be like, yo, <laughs> I got a lot to catch up on. I, you know, I got a lot to dig on. That's good. You know, turn the TV off. And <laughs> put, 
put down all that other, uh, you know, distraction, you know what I'm saying, and just surf the wave right here at 432 and it's long, along with all the other wave surfers and drop nation, man. Just surf the wave and the temple or Irvin Reed classroom and natural by law classroom, you know. Surf the wave with the Knox, man. Akita's Garden, take the L to get the W. Let go. High vibes, the dragon is the soul. You are so near a while. Drop tears. Derwin Walker, shout out DW. What it do, Kai? Shout out to the family jerkery Strickland as well, man. Great wave surfers, true ox. What it do, Khan? Much a high for all these years of dropping gems, jewels, as well as the fresh gear, music. Hope those who miscalculated get some understanding on who is flowing with you. Hawa, mama. Also, want you to know that for the most part, I'm hovering around, mostly in the balcony in your classroom. May Hawa continue to protect and guide Chef Condi. Yeah, man. And the young ones. All these droppings, man. <laughs> and the elders of your tribe with you in this holy ruah. Last thing I did not realize until mama showed me that the father is in the Shabbat Ta or Ta. One letter rule, maybe something here or not. I've learned to bring things before counsel, before establishing anything as true. One must have two or three witnesses to establish a thing, regardless of the thing, until pressed in 90. Hey, call me Hano, Hano, Hano. <laughs> Stay peace, Phil. Shout out DW. And that is powerful. Aqua, Abiya, Hawa. Creel Kid, Hawa. More gems, El Dracon, more what it do. MacDon, what it do. Lawrence Richardson, what it do? Kendrick Bay, Drop Nation, Juan Hano, what it do? Frozen Age, Frozen Assets, Regulator 9, Leo Rise, let's go. Kendrick Bowen, hey, we popping off. Immortal Soul, I am because he is. Facts, let's go. Akeda's Garden, Juan Hano, Akeda, what it do? Elite Level Magi, we're talking Joshua. Charles Johnson, hey, <laughs> American, let's go. Surfing the wave, man, undisputed truth. Con up to Uni. Dizzle Fitty said, pop off my con PJ89. We on that ass, man. <laughs> yeah, man, we on that investigation for real. And, hey, just call me Hano, man. You see all the support we got? Turning the corner, turning that last little leg to get to one hundo, man. You know what I'm saying? This is why I kept going, man. I got to 89. Dizzle said, we on the ass, man. I said, well, let go. Didn't turn back, man. Shout out Dizzle, man. Regulated nine Philadelphia experiment. Oh, yeah. What does that got to do with that? A holy mount of harmonics. What does that got to do with that technologies? Philadelphia, huh? Oh, my Aqua Charmaine got the drop. She said, and the truth shall make you free. You're going to get this work. Bring it out. How you get How you get this breath and breathe? <laughs> or now get this breath and breathe. Talking about breathing on them high jacks with Dragonfire. Halawa. M-H-O-E. My noggins. That's just 83 through 89. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a part two. <laughs> well, I'm picking it up here, right here, Preston John 90. And, uh, you know, surfing the wave. Oh, yeah, that that tar, that tar zonkta flow, that tar fuego flow. And just keeping it going all the way to 101, man. Hey, just call me. I know. Like I said, man, I want to. You know, give you much the water for showing support for the drop artists, the drop producers, making this tribal music. Look out for it. You know, we're getting better. 
you know, making sure the production is beautiful and just, you know, we, we're going to continue to, you know, put our heart bone in the music. Shout out Beanie Baby. She said, I love it. We're talking about that new joint from Ma Shiga. Five Eyes Ma. Khan Kong Fu. <laughs> he says, supposed to be uh, Khan Kung Fu. Hey, just it just turned out Kong Kong Fu. <laughs> Shout out to Bob, man. Hey, Levy Ball said, this is a hit, man. Straight up, KTC. Genius Jones at Double Dragon Flow. Hey, Charles Johnson, Americans, let's go. Wig News reminds me of those 80s video games. <laughs> yeah, when you hear this beat, it definitely has that flow to it. A wah, KTC. Mac May Matt Mason just trying to keep my mama soul on my eat the head. A while I'm jumping in. Tribe of Americans of Turtle Island. You already know. MHOE. Ma said, keep my mama soul where my eat the head. A while ate the water for the AI. Ma is popping off. Victor B. Hey, salute, man. Kenny Cash B. Salute. My guy, what he do? The cosmic knowing, knowing. <laughs> Hawa, gratitude, universe, love. No bombs, no bullets, no pricks. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hawa, wa. JB popping off, man. I want to make music with you, my night. Make that tribe up music, then Aries filing. What it do? Don Claiborne popping off, man. Lawrence Richardson. MJ, I am. I bet I am. It, it is. <laughs> the small and white dragon look like the dragon painted in St. Louis. Yeah, we, we done got that drop, right? A lot of walk. Ain't no J. My chigga is back, but never left. <laughs> hey, he's ethering up, man. We appreciate you, my master in my life voyage. Hawa. NYW. Blow. A wild <laughs> drop after drop, man. We going to keep it coming. I make beats. Let's collab, man. Hey, look, man. Just drop that drop. Hit us up, man. Music at 432thedrop.com to all the producers that got that tribe up beat for a knock, man. Let's pop off then, Lawrence. Let's pop off then. <sighs> hey, it feels so good. Don't you agree to surf the way? And you know what, man? You know what, man? I mean, we're going to go ahead and have to drop this uh, my sugar, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to <clears throat> dig on this Kong Kong food while I let my, my voice, you know, catch up with this water. <laughs> we're going to drop this Kong Kong food and just have some fun talking medias for the dismount. A loud while. And again, you know, we're going to come back in and keep talking some more comments. Press the 90 and up, man. I just want to Show my Ahab to you. And, you know, this is all foundational drop, man. I'll praise the why. And it leads to the music of the music. It's the heartbeat of the soul bone. And Five Eyes Ma, my sugar, doesn't let us ride to the water again. Ka, ka, fu, official 432. Lego. The go. All the way on nine was a team. Spiral in my mind, up on my zen. How I, I'm jumping in. Get my enemies and no friends. All the way on nine was a team. Spiral in my mind, up on my zen. How I, chopping in. Put a hijack, keep rolling in. Ripping up their treaties, they didn't have my land. Hawa. Uh. 
And you know it, and you know it, my sugar. <laughs> and you can get that tribe of music, man. You know what I'm saying? And that Five Eyes My Playlist, all the links are below. <sighs> Annie, uh, oh, Annie, uh. <sighs> hey. Comments for the dismount. Five minutes on comments for the dismount. Y'all ready, man? All right, look, you got Napoleon's comment. Shout out to the free library.com. They're calling it Napoleon's comment, right? This whole air time frame where these two great comments appear four years apart in the 19th century. Now they compare it to modern day comments like the Haley Bob comment, and, you know, whatever. But this was a big deal. It was a big, big deal, right? So you got the Heia Kutaki comment of 1996. You got this Haley Bop, you know, in 1995, which dominated our skies 20 years ago. All right. But they want to specifically get on this. Uh, you know, C1811 or this 1811 comment by the spring 1811 Europe once again braced for a new round of war. Napoleon was planning his next great adventure, the invasion of Russia. Remember, so keep all this in mind, the Rus, the Rus is on fire. <laughs> and the Rus is still connected with the, you know, North America press the flow. So, if Napoleon is seeing a comment in Russia and Tacoma say got a comment in the same year, then it's safe to say it's the same comment just flying by. <laughs> the same dragon flying through Russia, you know, North America, the same flow. So it's just interesting how they kind of tailor this comment to Napoleon, right? Since both of these Napoleonic comments had an impact on everyday society, even though astronomers of the time knew they were merely celestial objects. You know, are we just talking meteors? Or are we just talking dragons? You know what I mean? Remember the meteors, beliefs, projects? Uh, dragons as meteors are comments in Russian, right back to Russia, right? So we went from Napoleon comment, Russia, Russia invasion to the Russian folk belief by Elizabeth A. Warner, specifically <laughs> letting us know that the Shrivnivsky's Dictionary of Old Russian, which covers usage in the medieval period, has no entries for meteor or comet. So whether we're talking meteor or comet, there are no entries for it as such, but does have one for star with a tail. All right, so... The old Russian dictionary, <laughs> one of the most precise. It says, look, lack of a precise definition of the term meteor before the 20th century is clear from the Russian dictionary entries. So we're talking Shrevnetsky's dictionary of old Russian. Star with a tail, which is defined as a comet or cometa in 1958. Then you got Vladimir Dahl's Etymological Dictionary, one of the great, one of the most accurate or authoritative dictionaries of the 19th century. It contains the generalized definition of meteor as any atmospheric phenomenon. So it, it wasn't some space rock meteor that they put in our minds. It was any atmospheric phenomenon, such as a dragon, which is why. <laughs> the definition of a dragon in 1828 is a shooting meteor, fiery, a fiery shooting meteor. I said we're going to talk prestors, but we are talking prestors when we're talking meteors because a prester 
is a meteor, right? Thrown from the clouds. So, and the press is also right here. <laughs> and what's it got to do with these, you know, crisscrossing of these great comets or meteors, or, you know, all these things happening. So no entry for a comet or meteor, but there is entries for star with a tail. Dawes Dictionary talks about a heavenly body, which in comparison to others is of a huge mass, though sparse, nebulous, and transparent. Sometimes it may be seen to have a nucleus, while the surrounding area forms something like a tail, beard, or tangled dreadlocks, man. <laughs> tangled locks. Now we got specific. We can't be talking about space rocks when we talk about a tail and a beard, a beard, a beard, and locks, my naga. Come on, you don't use tangled locks to describe a space rock. And you don't use the term star with a tail if it's just a rock. So when you're talking about, oh, the tail of the cosmic debris, or are they just talking about an actual tail? with a beard, tangled locks, my knock. You know what I'm saying? So, <sighs> dragons are meteors, right? I mean, even in the dictionary, <laughs> the prester is the meteor and the dragon is a meteor. So is the prester the dragon? Lego. Again, you got the... 1811. Again, they always compare it with the common hell bop. And it's very funny how they always say these are new comments or that's a new comment. How do you know that the 1811 comment or dragon or dragon as meteors or comets? How do you know that this dragon ain't the same dragon coming in a different year? And the way they break it down is just because it has a different trajectory. So it must be different because it's having a different orbital pattern. Man, you, these dragons could do what they want to do. So if a bird flew over the building one day and in two days, another bird flew from a different direction. How do you know it's not the same bird just flying in a different direction? But they can't say that because they can't give these things intelligent flight. So they have to keep renaming them, renaming them, renaming them. So Hellbop could be uh, the same 1811 comet, man, which could be the same 1807 comet. You know what I mean? And on and on we go. And on and on we go. But the interesting thing, you know, they, they say these were long lasting comets. These comets lasted, you know, super long. <laughs> the great comet of 1811 was thought to have an exceptionally large coma, perhaps reaching over a million miles across. Now they can't say this is a big ass dragon, right? Because dragons are meteors. So whatever, no, if this thing's a million miles across, this is why Napoleon is seeing it in Russia. This is why the coon say seen it. <laughs> and th this is why it's all happening. It's the same comet. We're talking 1811, right? They want to call it Napoleon's comet. They want to link it with Napoleon in there. But check it out here. The Shawnee military leader to coon say whose name is translated as shooting star. Shooting star would also be what? Star with a tail, since there's no entries for comets or meteors, but there is one for star with a tail, or as the Dolls Dictionary break down, the st <laughs> star with a tail, beard, or some tangled dreadlocks, man. So this 1811 comment is also popping up with the Tecumse legend, whose name means dragon or shooting star. 
claimed the appearance of the comet as a favorable, favorable omen during his mostly unsuccessful efforts that year to bring southern tribes into his pan native american alliance we hear a lot about pan african but not a lot about pan native right and this american alliance that could have saved the nagas all across nagaville but they wanted to make treaty 1811 might have been a sign that it was all you know, all going down, man. You know what I'm saying? That this transition had to be made. You also got a 1769 comet. Messier, they call it. A long period comet. So they could see this comet for a long period of time. Super big. Was visible to the naked eye at its last apparition in 1769. Because of its outstanding brightness, it's called the Great Comet. Okay, so 69, how you know this ain't the same comet as 1811 popping off? Mine's just coming from a different spot. You got different visibilities. All right. So this is spotted out across the Philippines. They're talking about James Cook. He keeps popping up, whether we're talking Anion and him discovering these you know, are almost discovering these Anion slash Bering Strait situation, Strait of Anion. Cook was, you know, selling all around these areas, you know. All these islands and all this stuff. So Cook keeps popping up, man, in our investigation. I keep saying, is this James Kirk from the Star Trek Enterprise? <laughs> Or we're just talking Captain Hook, man. I'm just surfing away, digging on these comments, man. Back to the Great Comet of 1811. Again, they always compare it to the Hell Bob Comet. So how we know it's not the same. It is referred to as Napoleon's Comet because of the Napoleonic Wars and the impending War of 1812, in which the United States was allied with France, Germany, Austria, against Britain, Spain, Portugal, and Russia. <clears throat> so the wars are the backdrop for the novel War and Peace by Tolstoy, and also the newly Tony Award-nominated Broadway musical, Nat <laughs> Natasha. All right. So there's a Broadway musical called Natasha, Pierre, and the Great Comet of 1812, based on a small part of the novel. And they are linking it with Napoleon. Over here, they just linked it with the Comsay. He saw it as an omen. Hmm. So was it good or bad for him? Was it good or bad for Napoleon in him? Comet 1812 discovered in March of that year. All right. All right, so in the U.S. Midwest, the comet was visible during the New Madrid earthquakes. So this is, you know, cataclysms going down. And during these New Madrid earthquakes, were lands separated? You know, does this have anything, anything to do with the separating of lands? The Shawnee leader, Tecumseh, who was born in the year of the comet, 1769. So, okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so this 1769 comet really is marking the year that the Kumsay is born. And just like their JC character, Jesus, <laughs> in the New Testament, he got the star of Bethlehem, you know, a symbol of this. It's, it's a comet, right? It's a dragon because dragons are comets because dragons are comets and meteors. So this 1769 comet could be a symbol of the birth of this, you know, um, uh, this 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 great Khan Tecumse. You know what I mean? He's born in the year the comet of 1769 was namely was named accordingly. So he's named after the comet of 1769 Tecumse, invoked 
the common 1811 as he built a confederacy of tribes which allied with the British in the War of 1812. Back to the question, if this is the comment that was there to greet the Kumsay at his birth, how do you know it's not the same comment that's coming back around to holler at the Kumsay during the peak of the more and more war where he's trying to rally the tribes? How do you know it's not the same dragon? if the same dragon was present at his birth. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. We just saying. Let's go. You know, comment of the week, man. <laughs> Rockstem.org. They call these the long-lasting comments, man. Again, they go right into the hell bop, which could easily be the same great comment in recent times. It said it was discovered by who? Honorary Flodger Eagles <laughs> in March 25th, 1811. Interesting part right here it said this displayed a coma half a degree in diameter, indicating a physical size larger than the sun, man. Larger than the sun, man. So this wasn't some small little fading light in the sky. It had a physical size larger than the sun, according to the naked eye. And I want you to imagine how big, how magnificent this dragon is. They got depictions of, I don't know what this is supposed to be, some type of ghost of flea, you know what I mean? But never mind that. You know, they got the comet in the background, right? <laughs> you know, I don't know what kind of creepy stuff they into, man. <laughs> but yeah, this New Madrid earthquake thing, you know, seemed to be a big game changer that occurred in what is now Missouri in the U.S. during the late 1811, early 1812. Again, we know what's happening at these times, man. America's at war. 93% of the time, right? We got war popping off and dragons, just like Game of Thrones. When she saw that red comet, hey, man, them comets mean one thing, boy, dragons. <laughs> the red comets mean one thing. So you got this 1807 comet, you know what I mean? That was a few years before this 1811 comet. And I'll leave this link right here. The first time I observed this comet was on the 25th day of September, 1807. So this is observations of the comet of 1807. So you can get some more details on this, you know, comet drop. I like their dismount. Let's get this one right here. It says, uh, it is possible that on account on this account, the preceding elements may require some small corrections. None of the elements of the orbits of the known comets inserted by De La Lande and Vince in their systems of, of astronomy agree with the orbit of this comet. That seen in the year 1748 agrees more nearly than any one of them, but there is so great a difference in the longitude of the node and in the inclination of the orbit that there is not any probability of it being the same comet. So they're basing that based on what? The node and the inclination of the orbit. As if these have to be some brainless, non-intelligent. I mean, they, they have to be some space, space rocks. They can't be dragons, right? <laughs> Can't be star with a tail, with a beard and some tangled locks. Can't be that. Okay. I mean, if it is a dragon, then the orbit don't even matter. But if you think it's lifeless, just a rock, then the orbit must matter because you tra you're tracking this rock, right? If it's not the same orbit, different inclination or node, 
must be a different comet. And I'm saying if it's intelligent and if it's flying with intelligent flight, your orbit don't matter. <laughs> your tracking don't matter. It's a dragon. <laughs> so you can't tell if this is the same dragon or not. But you can't say it has intelligent flight because it's going to freak everybody out, right? <laughs> we may therefore safely conclude that the comet whose element we have here calculated is one which was before unknown. No, you can't conclude that based on the orbit and inclination, man. But let's go. Man. So they're talking about the 1807 comet, the great comet of 1807, right? Four years before the great comet of 1811. How you know it's not the same one based on orbit, based on inclination or node? It was visible to naked eye observers in Northern Hemisphere from early September 1807 to late December, and it's ranked among the great comets due to its exceptional brightness. Or the fact that it's a great dragon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm just leading you to the water. You can dig on this 1807 flow. You know, there's dragons, dragons everywhere, man. You know, we dropped on this uh, Tecumseh Black Sun Prophecy New Madrid earthquake drop. I just wanted to revisit the link and lead us for you again because they're going to go deeper into the connection of the comet with Tecumseh. Tecumseh's comet, not Napoleon's comet, but if it's a million miles long, I guess it's both, right? <laughs> is representing 1811, a great bright comet. A big old dragon appeared in the sky. <laughs> it was visible to the naked eye for 260 days. Remember, it was larger than the sun, right? In the USA, the comet was called the Kumsek comet. The Europeans called it Napoleon's comet because Europe is connected. <laughs> so we all were seeing the drop in the sky sky. Eat the walking through the sky sky in real time. And they connected with this black sun flow. And the black sun flow is all about this uh, eclipse flow, you know. So his name means shooting star, talking to Kumse, or he who walks across the sky. The Kumse's eat the walking across the sky, man. The Kumse's brother, known as the prophet, who was, you know, one of their chiefs, had predicted a solar eclipse, 1806. And then here comes the comet of uh, 1807. Here comes the dragon right after the solar eclipse flow. They say, uh, you know, history repeats itself, right? Henry Harrison, a governor of Indiana, we we done gone in on this this Henry Harrison flow. Go get the drops. Governor of Indiana was worried the prophet was becoming too popular and challenged him to produce a miracle. The prophet announced another solar eclipse would occur, and so it did on September 17, 1811. So something about this eclipse flow matches up with this dragon comet flow which also matches with this black sun and black sun is only referring to the great eclipse that's happening. It should be added that the prophet had been in contact with astronomers who told him the solar eclipse would take place that year. A black sun was said by the Indians to predict war. Ah, So they knew it was going all the way up. And the war was launched by Governor Harrison in November. Wars with the Indians and the British would rage until 1813 after the day of the Black Sun. The Kumse and his brother, the prophet, attracted even more followers. One of the greatest Indian leaders, man. One of the greatest Israelite leaders, man. The Kumsa. November 6, 1811, Governor Harrison attacked Prophet's town with over a thousand men. And this was the beginning of the Kumsay's war. The Kumsay was at the Shawnee and Delaware Indian villages near Cape Gerardo, 50 miles north of the epicenter of New Madrid, when the first earthquake hit on December 16, 
18 and left. And that's a 7.7 that hit. And it was all happening. The great comment. Yeah, these are their drawings, but what did it really look like, man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Earthquake was felt across 130,000 square miles, man. Shock waves from the earthquake were felt all the way to the East Coast and north to Quebec. Man. <laughs> we're just talking about this eclipse, right? This black sun, God. Okay. Remember, my noggin. Countdown to 2024. <laughs> Phineas crisscross on your head, bone. It's interesting they say that this 2024 is going to be double, um, you know, the time or duration of the 2017 drive. Remember 2017, Phineas was crisscrossing on your head, but right? This great comic, this great dragon cut right through India Superior, right? And then what, seven years later, <clears throat> Here comes the crisscross applesauce. Remember that cross is the oldest indigenous symbol, man. You're just talking about the Tao. Two cross sticks intersecting lines. Right here. So they're calling it the Great American Solar Eclipse. Yeah, we're just talking about eclipses. The Black Sun Prophecy, right? We're just talking about the Kum Say Flow. One year after the eclipse came, all the heat so you know is this a sign you know that it's a wild showing us some should we be paying attention should we be where we gotta be by 2024 you know is this a sign that <laughs> anaga better hit that checkpoint i mean it's 2022 we got about a year and year and a half, you know, a couple of years almost, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just say, look, you know, get to where you got to go, try up with who you got to try up with and make sure, you know what I'm saying? You, at the worst case, you tribed up. At the best case, you tribed up, you know what I'm saying? But 2024, Finney is crisscrossing on the head ball. The very longest duration will be near Torian, Mexico, Mexico. Four minutes, 27 seconds, the inner black circle is where the shadow is complete. Black sun, right? Remember that song, Black Hole Sun? Won't you come? <laughs> yeah, we're talking about that great eclipse. The moon shadow. I mean, hey, pop off, man. You let me know. Lastly, we got the great American solar eclipses by Tobias Krizenmeyer in 2017. A lot of material has been written and published on the great American solar eclipse this Monday, August 21st, 2017. Some say there will be a great judgment and catastrophe such as earthquakes. Whoa. We, we just talked about that, right? You know, because great earthquakes were popping off. The New Orleans steamboat survived the earthquake. So you got New Orleans flow happening, right? Missouri, Mississippi, <laughs> everybody felt these earthquakes. And it popped off right, you know, well, first. There was a solar eclipse in 1806. A year later, you got this comet coming through 1807. And then, bang, come the earthquakes in 1811. So the 1806 flow was like a warning eclipse. Then comes the 1811, 1812 flow. And here again, you got a 2017, like a warning eclipse, then 2024. 
what does it mean, man? What does it mean, man? You know, so signs for the timing of extraordinary events, timing of the seven appointed times, feast of Hawaii each year, timing of day and night, timing of the years. What does it mean? So this article connects a lot with, you know, gets 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 real hijacked, new testy, but you 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 know who the signs are for. Do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the Gentiles are dismayed. <laughs> hey, they look at it as like, oh, fear, fear. Don't be dismayed. And hey, we rejoice that Hawa has given us a sign to hit a checkpoint that involves being in Shalawan with our tribe. We're tired of this captivity. Tired of being homeborn slaves, man. So any sign's a good sign, man, because he already got conquered and invaded. So <laughs> any sign got to be a good sign at this point. <laughs> we popping off. Oh, man, here we go again. Phineas crisscrossing on your head, bro, right? Black sun. Eclipse. And it shall be that every living thing that moves wherever the rivers go will live. There will be a great multitude of fish because these waters go there. For they will be healed and everything will live wherever the river goes. Yeah, man. Uh, hi, Jack City. <laughs> we bobbing and weaving in this, in this link, but I just want to pay attention to the map they had. And of course, everybody want to know what these signs mean. The two great American solar eclipses, right? What we do know, back to the Pictopaleo, is that from your L or left, through your bot, your house, through your gom, your foot, your movement, your walking, through a door, your doll, through an entrance, to get the ah, breath in your wah security. It takes you right to your food your nourishment, your cutoff day, your seventh day, seventh letter, cutoff. Then you start building your wall for joy world. You start building your boundaries. And the last letter is your towel or your X that marks the spot. That's your conclusion of the matter. Conclusion of the cycle, the towel, the crossed sticks. Ezekiel 37, put them sticks together for both the tribes to make one tribe forever. One mark, one sign, one signal, one monument is your towel. One mark. One sign, one signal, a naga, one monument. What is this sign for? What is this mark for? And why is it exclusive to India Superior, so-called North America? <laughs> why is it exclusive to the lands of the Presta? <laughs> Crisscrossing on a head bone. Hey, y'all still got that fire burning my night. We still got the water flow. This was a quick discussion of Presters, meteors, comets, and your comments. <laughs> we definitely gonna have to come in and keep it going, keep the water flowing while we keep the fire burning. 
Hey, call me Hano. <laughs> Look out for much more. Um, another checkpoint, another mark, another sign for the tribe to keep going. And the water for your comments that keep me going. Your contributions that keep us going. For Joy World, for Nagaville, we will continue. And be patient with us as we continue to, you know what I mean, service to try with whatever it is you need, whatever we got. And, you know, it might be a small operation now, but one day, my knock, <laughs> you know, we're going to get a whole lot of help, man, and be popping off for the knockers all across Nagaville. And uh, look out for the tribe up music because it gets too real, too trill. And the next wave is all up to you. We're going to do everything we can do, everything we should be doing to get this word out. You know, we're going to be prolific um, artists, creators, scribes, ox and aquas for a while. We're going to serve a while. We're going to keep the cold so the fire never gets quenched ever within us. And in 2024, <laughs> free Phineas, man. Crisscrossing on our head, bone. Ain't the water for surfing away with a nugget. Keep the water flowing and keep the fire burning and keep the cold. <laughs> Allow why.